Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about how to get good credit. We're going to need it over the next year, year and a half. And of course, we got to talk about getting the money. And of course, we have strategies. But it's going to be up to you now to make things happen after what we talk about. And welcome. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the SSN Nation Friday Night Live Stream. And I want to thank you so much for being here. And please share videos, share live streams. You never know what information will help other people. And again, it's Friday night. And of course, a lot of people just got paid. And I went to the grocery store and I saw a lot of people lining up for the one billion dollar lottery ticket. The chances are one in around, what, 500 million anyhow, somewhere like that. So I'd say somebody's going to be a winner. In fact, more than somebody, more than one or two people. But nonetheless, out of all those billions being invested into that, one or two people will walk away as the winner probably. So again, ladies and gentlemen, that's a crapshoot. So we can't rely on crapshoots. We have to make things a little more absolute. So therefore, we're going to be talking about a little credit today because a lot of people always ask me about it. And so what we're going to talk about first is let's just call it what it is. What do you need credit for? That's the question. We're in an ecosystem. You want to buy a house. You want to rent. You want to get a job. You want to buy a car. Most of the time they ask you for a credit. Now, of course, you can always go to subprimes where you might not need credit, but then you'll live in the worst neighborhoods. You won't have a newer vehicle, so therefore, and you may not have the best of jobs either because they check your credit now for all the better jobs. So all you want to do is keep that in mind, especially in this 2022-2023 era where they're going to start tightening up who they're going to have working for them, who is going to be able to buy assets. And so therefore, you want to make sure your credit score is good. So if it isn't now... All you have to do is progress a little bit. I have links down below, such as a company called Smart Credit. With Smart Credit, you guys already know. With Smart Credit, it's a monitoring service, first of all. Second of all, they have an engine inside that'll tell you if you pay by a certain date, your points and score can go up by X amount of points in real time. That helps you out greatly then to get your report a month later. And then the next thing you know, you're sitting there like, wait, what happened? Right? So just keep all of that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you don't want to have it surprises. So if you're going to have a monitoring service, please use smart credit. The other thing about the monitoring service is you have identity theft protection. You and your household, how much is that going to be worth over the next year as more and more hackers and more people online? And therefore, there's going to be more situations that you're going to have to give out your information. And of course, sooner or later, you are going to be hacked. To what extent? You never know. But why not be a little safe? Sometimes it's worth that as well. So again, those are some of the things that help you with smart credit. The link is down below. If you want to build credit, there's several ways to do that. I have personal and business links down below in the description to help you guys out. So that's all you have to do is use the links down below. Pick and choose what you want for personal. In fact, some of those personal 
Let me go look and see what I have down below. Some of those personal is National Credit Direct. No hard inquiry. So that doesn't hurt your credit score. All right. The link is down below. $10,000 primary installment trade line. Once again, $149.99 membership. And then you can get up to a $10,000 trade line, but you have to put down 20%. Either way, no hard inquiry. It's a soft inquiry. So if you can build your credit on soft inquiries, that's where you want to go. Because when you go over four, then they start dinging you. Four hard inquiries. All of a sudden, the fifth hard inquiry, you don't know what's going to happen. They could take away five points, three points, or 20 points. And in this day and age, 10 or 20 points can be the difference between what you need to do and trying to do versus not qualifying for something or having to come out of pocket an additional 10 to 15 percent to put down. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. Now, Credit Strong, of course, you guys know another installment, no hard inquiry. But one of my favorites is also Credit Strong, but as well, Self Lender, because you guys know Self Lender, what do they do? You're doing an installment loan, so to speak. It's actually more like a CD. You're putting money into an account. They charge you an admin fee. But the beauty of this is after three or four months, the amount of money that you save can be moved over into a secured revolving trade line card. So for the same money, you can get two items on your credit report. And that's Self Lender. And their link is down below. Now, before I get into anything further, please smash the like button. And that's so the YouTube gods know that you're in the house and we have some people here. Let me see what's going on. Who's in the house? Victor Marrero's in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. Thank you so much for being here with the icon next to his name. And he says, hello, all. Let's do this as his tagline, his one of two taglines. Thank you so much for being here, Victor Morero. And let me know who saw the trailer, who received the YouTube notification tonight, please. That would be greatly appreciated. Will Reynolds, long time no see. Very happy to see you back in the SSN Nation on a Friday night live stream. Thank you so much for being here. He says, hello, everyone. Hello to you, too, as well. So thank you once again. In fact, there's something that I want to talk about. I talked about a little credit at the outset, but if you like what we're talking about during the course of this live stream, please consider to subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want an icon next to your name, then that means you would be a member of the channel. And that would be greatly helpful as well, because that's supporting the channel with a little bit of money. All right, let's get in. Keep it going, ladies and gentlemen, because that's not all. We're talking about personal credit. We're going to be talking about investing. We got a lot to talk about. So sit back, relax, get your pen, pad and paper ready because you're here in the SSN Academy, the SSN University. And guess what? It's the no guru zone, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. No e-courses, no webinar, no seminar, none of that. You can ask questions here and you can get answers and just not by me, but you never know who's in the chat room. We have very knowledgeable, experienced entrepreneurs, business owners in the house as well. And they help out as well. It's a beautiful thing. The ecosystem is huge. All right, let's keep moving with the credit. And then we'll get into some business credit, because if you're interested in business credit, I get emails occasionally where people say, what about business credit? Well, I have that, too, down below. Links are down below for you because it's pretty easy. You can always start with net 30s, for instance. And when you start your business, you need office supplies. So why not go see net uh, uh, crown office supplies? They have a net 30. Sometimes, though, now because of the economy, they may require you to actually make a first order, pay that order instead of giving you a net 30. But when you go to Crown Office Supplies down below, you can click on the net 30. So that helps you out. And then if they accept you, then of course you make a payment within 30 days and they report it to your Dun & Bradstreet and your other credit services. And we also have, if you're a new startup, 
And what I mean is by that is six months. If you're under a year and it's six months to a year, you can't seem to get any credit. Well, you need capital on tap. The link is down below. At least you can try because they do startups. They help new businesses at least get a 1,000, 2,000, maybe even more sometimes credit limit for your business. And then they report to the business credit bureaus as well. That helps you out. Now, if you haven't started a business yet, you guys know how I feel about it. Opus Virtual Office. Do not work out of your home and your security could be a problem. So therefore, that's why you should have your business and residence should be in two different locations. So your business is actually going to be, let's say, at a virtual office like Opus Virtual Office. The benefits, somebody's to answer your phone under your company name. Somebody, you have a business phone number. You're going to be on Google. All right. A live person answers the phone. They can transfer the phone call to you, whatever number you designate. The address is a commercial address. So now it reports as a business commercial address as well. And again, it's separate. So therefore, it's a tax write off since it's going to be an LLC or a corporation. So you get the tax write offs. You have a business fax number, business line, all included. 411, you're on Google, you have a, you have them reporting to the credit bureaus as well because you are dealing with Opus Virtual Office. Now, use YG1, there's a promo code, YG1. Y as in you, G as in George, the number one. YG1, that waives your admin fee if you decide and it's $99 per month unless you prepay a year in advance, you get a discount. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. But remember, it's a tax write off. You're in business and you always need your business to be a separate entity. You don't want to start commingling. Just keep that in mind. All right. So let's keep moving. Let me see what's going on. Victor Morrell says, I got the YouTube notification and trailer. Thank you so much for letting me know. And actually, I didn't even realize I, I finally saw the YouTube trailer pop up today. And that particular message was actually, uh, it has a uh, writing on it. And what that's about is she uh, helps the charity Sack Helping uh, Hands. And so she took um, charity donations and that's what she sends to the Sack Helping Hands. And I didn't realize it. So I'm, I gotta put the other video up that doesn't have it on there. I mean, even though she always collects and helps out, but that's not what it was designed for. So anyhow, thank you so much, Victor Morero. At least you got the YouTube notification and trailer. Greatly appreciated. All right. Now, let's keep moving with the business credit, right? Because not only does Credit Strong have personal credit, they have business credit where they have an installment. And I, want, I shouldn't use the word installment, but it is you're making a monthly payment, a fixed monthly payment. And now they're reporting it to your EIN number. Your business credit is now going to be helped out by Credit Strong. This is what they have added recently. So once again, now the link is down below. How to get good credit? We started on two sides, business credit and personal credit. Down below in the below the video in the descriptions, that's where you can find everything, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have to give a promo out. And again, please smash the like buttons. That's so we know, the YouTube gods know that is, that we're in the house tonight, that you guys are here in the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. Now, I'm going to talk about SSN lifestyle. All right. But first, I see we have Victor Morrell making comments. Another pump of the stock market today. ETFs on fire, VOO, VTI, VUG, VYM, making the move north, still in the red, but it's looking good. Yes, Victor Marrero, clearly. We knew this was going to happen after Jerome Powell sat all of us down, right, and this, put his arms around us. We're talking about top 10 percenters and said, don't worry, guys, I got your back. Even though we have two consecutive quarters, I already know it is, but I'm not going to tell anybody there's a recession. We're not going to use that R word. We're just going to say... We'll think about it in September if we're going to raise interest rates. So that way we'll get a pump on the market for the next few days. We all know this was going to happen. This is no surprise. And like Victor Marrero has said, 
Most stocks, ladies and gentlemen, are down. 70, 75% of stocks are down. And we're not talking about 5% or 10%. We're talking about these stocks. Stocks are down like 50%, 60%. So in reality, if things weren't as bad as they are, any other time, people would or should be buying at these levels. Except there's something else going on in our economy these days called inflation, called uh, people don't want to go to work called P, uh, employers still don't pay enough money for people to go to work, all of that's going to come into play sooner or later. But right now, the pump in the stock market, yeah, they're overjoyed after the announcement two days ago. So two days of pumping, pumping, pumping. We'll see what happens next week after things uh, calms down. Look who else is in the house. Oh, and by the way, these are Vanguard Group ETF funds, ladies and gentlemen. If you are thinking about investing in the stock market, down below in the description, please make sure you download Robinhood and Weeble. If you have not already, you get free shares of stock just for downloading their app. If you deposit on Weeble, not only do you get two free stocks, you get three more or four more free stocks if you download one dollar or more or upload to their app and put it in your brokerage account. VO, VTI, VUG, these are Vanguard funds. VYM, the second largest fund on the planet. And um, they have some of the lowest fees annually. So therefore, they know what they're doing. They've done the, they let stocks fall 40, 50, 60. Now they think it's time to buy. All right. So those are good funds. So thank you, Victor Morrell. You guys do your own due diligence, do your own research. All right. Now, Wilson Coos in the house, the resident mortgage expert. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. He has the icon next to his name. So thank you so much, Wilson Koo. And he has his tagline, I see. Good evening, Mr. Bird and SSN family. 100% facts and he sells money. What does he mean by sell money? Well, tonight we started off how to get good credit. Well, what if you don't have good credit? Well, guess what? You need to see Mr. Wilson Koo because you're thinking, hey, I need a loan for some business idea or not idea, but maybe I need for real estate project or maybe I'm on Amazon, but my credit's messed up, but I have revenues coming in and I need somebody to pay me for inventory so I can buy inventory. Well, see, this is why you need to know Mr. Wilson Koo. He has all of this. You might even have vacant lands just sitting around. And you might be able to do something with that. Mr. Koo's the man. So if you need to get in touch with him, here's his website. How about that? QuickEasyFunds.com. But that's Q-U-I-K-F-U-N-D-S.com. Or you can send me a message at support at StopStrugglingNow.com. And I will forward your email to him. Support at StopStrugglingNow.com. That is very easy, all right, in case you don't get to the quickeasyfunds.com. And he does mortgage loans, and he does business loans, and he has people that will help you actually make money. You can lease your land. I don't know if they still do that, but that could have happened. So all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, you're in the right place at the right time right now because we're talking about getting good credit. And we're still waiting on Mr. Koo to talk about international real estate funding, which we don't know what's going to happen six, eight months from now, but hopefully he may have some information now. So we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you so much, Wilson Koo, for being in the house. Evening at Victor M. Will R. Wilson Koo always showing the love. He says he received a notification. Thank you so much. That's two people. We need more people with the notification, don't we? Victor Morrell, crypto continues to pump also. Drip, EMP money, Freeway US are printing money. Yes, Victor Morrell, we've already figured it out. If the stock market pumps, crypto pumps. We already know the big boys have their hands in the crypto space. So therefore, they have it running in tandem. And again, get your free crypto if you haven't already. Buy at the lower price. Get your free $10 of Bitcoin from Coinbase if you still haven't downloaded or uploaded, done anything with Coinbase. The link is down below. Also, if you want to earn some free Bitcoin, we got a link down below for that for Crypto Tab. That's right. 
uses your software on your computer. You don't need mining equipment. Your computer, your phone, your laptop, your tablet, all of that is your mining equipment. If you want to add them all together on the network, isn't that going to be a beautiful thing, right? You earn pennies, though. Don't think you're going to be earning $5 a day or 20 or 30. Well, okay, let's say if you hook up 20 or 30 computers, possibly. But most people don't have 20 or 30 computers sitting around. You may have three or four, but you're only going to be even earning a partials of a penny every day. It's not like you're even going to earn one cent or 20 cents a day, probably, unless you have fast computers and your hash rate is thousands. <laughs> and so, um, but, it, but most people don't have uh, those computers that move at 2000 uh, hash rate. So, um, but nonetheless, you can actually then have a link and sign up other people. You receive Partials of a penny on when they do their free mining using their computer software. So, again, doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Your software, your computer, you already own it. It's free. The link's down below. Earn free Bitcoin link, ladies and gentlemen. Victor Morrell says SCHB. Oh, he's dropping some more from Charles Schwab, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you need to write down. All right. Just write it down. Do your own due diligence. This is stock market ETF. SCH, SCA from Charles Schwab are also very good. All these will take you to the finish line, especially doing DCA. Exactly. All right. Hello, Wilson Koo. Good evening from Victor Morrell. Nothing but love here in the house again, ladies and gentlemen. We just got a platform to trade your crypto for cash. Then when you pay off the loan, you get crypto back. I like that. I like that. That seems to be a, a thing that's popping up lately where uh, they're doing these uh, long-term and then they uh, give back. It's, I like it. I like it. Hopefully it works though. A lot of these things are new. And then when you add in thousands of people, all of a sudden it breaks it. So we'll, we'll find out about it. I like this here in this um, unique lock system for crypto. Okay. Um, well, you know, you always have to send me an email or you can say what it is. Your choice. But uh, send me an email. Let me know. We'll be talking about it. Also, speaking of crypto, we're going to be talking about something else. I'm waiting for Melanie Bonita to actually do a presentation with me on a live stream. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. Not tonight, but uh, hopefully in the next week, because we're talking about 1.5 percent with crypto. The company apparently has a track record for 550 days. Ooh. That's uh, an eternity in crypto space. Just because you've been around for 550 days doesn't mean you're going to be around for the 600th day, right? We know how crypto works. But nonetheless, 1.5% plus they have referral bonuses and you can actually earn additional uh, crypto from when somebody else signs up using your link. I have a link, but I'm probably not going to add it tonight. Um, let's see. Unique lock system for crypto. Need multiple key to get out. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, multiple key to get out, not in. Okay, I never like multiple keys to get out. Victor Morero, Eric, very interesting presentation from Melanie last night on my Easy Tron bot. I deposited a small amount via Telegram and also linked my profile to my website. Okay, well, Victor Morero has already let the cat out the bag, but that's the one, ladies and gentlemen. So now, Victor Morrell, you know I have to leave a link down below in the description. See, this is what happens when I have to deal with entrepreneurs like Victor Morrell. We get all excited. These guys start talking. We're earning 1.5%. Holy smokes, right? Uh, every day. I love it. I like it. Um, well, this is very interesting. Maybe I won't be able to. Um, um, I can't. I can't believe it. I don't have my link sitting around. I was going to drop my link, but I can't. Um, oh, here it is. My Easy Tron bot, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I'll give a little teaser. I'm. I. I just, we just got presented last night with it. But go check this out. You. Uh, you're going to sign up with Telegram. But you're going to need almost a step-by-step -step play for this. I put a link down in the chat room. And please use the link. It, and then use your Telegram. I like using Telegram on my phone. Some other people have Telegram, I guess, on their computer. 
but it's almost a little difficult without understanding how to sign up because you're pretty much going to have to put in a username and your username all right um it it can be whatever you want it to be when it asks for username so if you want your username to be a b c d e f whatever that's your username so remember that's your username and it has to be with the same phone if you're on your telegram so in other words you will have it your account is associated with your phone number all right and you can try to go down the list but it's a little funky but it's in telegram which is pretty weird and you can use crypto to upload into it litecoin trx usdt on the tron network meaning you need trc20 usdt trc20 token doggy coin bitcoin those are the options that you can upload into it and you can withdraw apparently you have to ask to withdraw your interest and it takes i guess 12 to 24 hours all right but that's just an overview because it's too too hard but i'd appreciate you use the link in the chat just to have it so then that way when we have the presentation with miss 26 dreams of revenue melanie bonita then you'll already have the link already be prepared and then you'll maybe be like i have questions all right and so just think about it ladies and gentlemen that's a way to be earning passive income leah dennis is in the house welcome to the ssn nation friday night live stream thank you so much for being here with the icon next to your name thank you so much for that i appreciate the support and she says good evening eric b wilson ku victor m will R, ssn family i had death in my family 70 year old innocent life gone oh my god i'm sorry to hear this and I'm trying to get back on track. I'm glad to be back. Thank you so much for being back. And our condolences goes out to you and your family members. And it is a travesty. And I'm so very, very sorry to hear this. Um, very bad. But uh, thank you so much for uh, being in the house tonight. And uh, I appreciate it. I did some research today. You have to sign up via Telegram first. After that, just use the computer website. And it's like managing a bank account super easy there we go okay well i didn't even know but where do you go online let me know is it telegram i mean i, I don't use telegram online let me go look is telegram a thing online so um no it's not telegram Tom definitely is not the website that's telegram and gazette that's a newspaper so uh I don't know what you mean, Victor. I was using it on my phone, quite frankly. So let me know what you're referring to. That would be helpful because other people, but you want to do it, sign up with Telegram. I don't know how you do it, but use the link. It'll take you out there to Telegram. Thank you, Wilson Koo, says Wilson. Um, and that's what he, she's referring to. I missed uh, some things up here. Evening, Leah D. And uh, hello, Leah. Good evening same multi key to go in okay cool that's what i like to hear that's what i like to hear all right all right and sorry to hear you're lost okay ladies and gentlemen you know i'm going to talk ssn lifestyle it has nothing to do with credit but it has something to do with getting some money that's right passive income residual income all in one earn some commissions all in one one stop shop no requirements really other than using your link and sharing it with somebody and you're going to get paid commissions if somebody signs up so sorry to hear you hear that leah praying for you from victor marrero thank you for all your prayers and condolences much appreciated use the website melanie sent just click on it via your computer uh she did yeah see that's the problem i was on my phone she didn't send me a link i just used the link on my phone last night so uh i don't know okay hold on hold on you're saying my link for instance let me go look let me go look see what it looks like maybe that's what you mean ah register no 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 
Um, no. Victor Morero, that's a registration key. I don't see anything for. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, there we go. Sign in. Okay. How do we sign in? This is all like username or email. Wait a minute. We didn't do a password last night. All right, this will be interesting. We didn't do a password last night. So, um, that's interesting. Nonetheless, though, I get you. I clicked on the METB, my EasyTron bot. But anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, I put the link down below in the chat room. Please go over and at least use the link, get started. And if you don't know anything, that's okay. Just stand by for when we have... Melanie Bonita on and we do a live stream, live stream. And so I did it once again. All right. Now, 31 minutes in, please smash the like button. Please click the all notification bell if you decide to subscribe. That's so the YouTube guys know that we have someone in the house. Uh, right. You have to sign up first. Okay. All right. Please. Yeah, um, yeah, you have to sign up first. That's true. Um, and what you're talking about, if you what we're talking about, if you came in late, is there was something that we uh, learned last night about 1.5 percent Monday through Friday. On Saturday and Sunday, you don't earn the 1.5 percent. You can withdraw your interest uh, every day. Apparently, you also it's going to be locked for 134 days. Apparently, so I, I, that's a weird number, but uh, that's four months and four and a half months. It's going to be locked. So uh, that's interesting in itself. And you can load up on several different coins you can use, Litecoin, Doggy Coin, TRX, USDT using the TRC20 token, and then Bitcoin itself. So those are your options that you can load up. So that gives you plenty of opportunity. It doesn't matter which one you use, but it's easier probably if you use uh, Litecoin, from Coinbase as an American citizen, but everywhere else around the world, it probably doesn't matter because your exchanges allow you to withdraw like USDT can withdraw on the TRC20 network, doggy coins everywhere and Litecoins everywhere. Bitcoin, I don't know about the fees. I just stay away from Bitcoin myself, but that's not everybody. And um, so those are the options you have. But right, you have to sign up first. Victor Marrero, um, when you're saying you have to sign up first, are you saying you got to do forgot password? Because remember, we have a username, right? So, um, and uh, I think we have an email address too, if I'm not mistaken. But I know we have a username. So use your username and then you clicked on forgot password because I don't think we use the password. So let me know. Um, the website is only necessary in the event Telegram goes down. I prefer using the computer better. Phones can get hacked. Very, very true there. That's very true. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying about SSN Lifestyle, I'm going to show you guys something. Because once again, the power of being in the SSN Lifestyle means you're going to have opportunities. So what happened across the today, a new, pr new promotion kind of came out. Oh, by the way, I got so much to talk about. Forgot about this. Who wants to win tickets to the Coke Zero Sugar 400 and the Wawa 250 races at Daytona Beach, Florida? August 27th is Wawa 250. I always get it reversed. August 27th is Coke Zero Sugar 400. August 26th, the day before, is Wawa 250 Xfinity Series. Tickets to both of those events along with the Fan Zone and fan zone tickets include if you bring your kids 12 and under they get in free with you to the fan zone that's pretty cool all right so that's a way to go ssn lifestyle something came up today i'm going to show you guys what came up i'm just going to show you what came up here's what came up the promo for these guys a lot of you may have never been to aruba the blue waters that you see they're legitimate it's true what 
they don't tell you is the water is like the warmest in the Caribbean. It's like bath water, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That's what they don't tell you. And it's clear even without goggles on or a snorkeling mask, you can see 20, 30 feet with your own eyes. That's how clear the water is. Now, here's what popped up today. August 27th for a week, which means you're going to be, what is that, a, a day before or a day starting the Labor Day weekend, right? August 27th for a week, a studio unit that has a full kitchen and has a sofa sleeper. And uh, the resort is on the beach. You see what's scrolling about. It's going to cost somebody, if they were in the open market, around $2,000. It's with an SSN Lifestyle members can refer people for $1,295 and still receive commission. That's right. Still receive your normal commission. And if somebody referred that person that actually found the guest to go, then you would receive commission too as the person that referred the other person. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, four levels down potentially. So even at $1,295, you would be receiving commission. This is La Cabana Resort and Casino. They have a small casino inside. Don't trust me. It's nothing major. It's, it's not that big. It's probably 5,000 square feet max. All right. It's not that big. A normal house, a normal size house with a, 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 a California size lot that's 60 by 100 lot. Your total lot size in Cali. 50 by 100 that's about how much space they have for the casino it's not like a real casino that you're going to walk in and be like there's you know 20 they have slot machines yes they have card uh they have card games they have back of raw they have roulette and all that i mean it's a casino but that's not the thing you're on the beach ladies and gentlemen but here's the kicker see founders club members because some might be watching tonight here you guys if you want to go guess what here's some other little kick-ins benefits for founders club members guess how much a founders club member can go for two hundred dollars oh that's right two hundred dollars for a week in aruba ladies and gentlemen at the beach and by the way la cabana beach uh, resort and casino not only is the resort on the beach by the boardwalk it's at eagle beach which is one of the most popular locations i personally hang out a little further uh south but nonetheless eagle beach that's where it's at also in the location people like to hang out and the boardwalk is right there as well which is you know what it is so all i'm saying is people at ssn lifestyle they have a way to send somebody over there and buy receive commission Founders Club members, they're the only ones, actually. No other membership. Again, I told you Founders Club or VIP. Founders Club member could actually take it and say, you know what? I want to go. I'll pay the $200 for the week, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, I want to show you something. Just so, so the uh, week itself, it's not available, right? So we're, let's just go do this experiment. Let's go with three people. Let's go with this little experiment, shall we? I don't think a week's available in the studio unit. I'm pretty sure. I'm real sure about that. It's almost Labor Day. Even if it's not, it's still summer before kids go back to school in a lot of states and around the world. Because remember, Aruba's world class. It's not like only Americans go there. So... Here's what we have. See, the dates are unavailable. So I'm going to have to figure out. Let's see if we can go. Yeah, the fourth is taken. So look, again, I'm going by this. See, we can't even get, we can't even find anything in here. This is crazy. How about two nights? Why don't we just do two nights? Let's see if we can find. Again, see, we have the week, ladies and gentlemen. It's not available to reserve. So again, that works in your favor. Here's what a one bedroom costs, 208, well, that's not even true. $282 per night 
and that's on the first second and check out on the third so that gives you an idea on um, what it's going to cost for that's a one bedroom though not a studio a studio is going to cost less about 30 40 dollars less per night all right but i just want to give you guys an idea because you're going to see the total 689 dollars for two nights but that's a one bedroom so the studio would cost around 570 550 a night all right just for those two nights it's 12.95 for a whole week ladies and gentlemen another five nights so again it costs generally two thousand dollars for the studio for the week and somebody can go there for 12.95 or founder club member could say you know what i'll take it i'll go 200 dollars for the whole week for them like i said that's why founders club is very very good vip always have something special going on and that's all i can say about it all right let's move into something else okay when you sign up use the same username from yesterday and then on password just create a password i prefer usd deposits because it is less volatile i agree with you on that i agree eric b can you please share the names of the two condo locations in miami to invest in leah dennis one is lofty brickle the other one was nativo but uh it sold out and the other one is 501 residences which i don't believe is sold out yet those are the three but nativo sold out 501 residences is the other one lofty brickle is the new one and prices are escalating instead of 300,000 for a studio they're like 500,000 instead of 1 million for a, a penthouse they're like up to 3 million they're on the water though lofty brickles on the water so that's what makes it so special you got to put down 20 percent too by the way then they build uh you don't have to make a monthly no monthly if you don't want to you can pay every six months they do like every six months out for lofty brickle and uh 501 residences i believe have the same type of plan all right so that's a beautiful thing right there so hopefully that helps you out that's real estate investing ladies and gentlemen in case you're new here pre-construction which means your credit is not needed at this point down the line if you don't pay it off 100 percent because you're generally going to owe 50 percent 60 percent so most people would get it financed so therefore your credit may have to come into play depending on what happens with these markets let's just say for the sake of argument for whatever reason recession is over right and the federal reserve all of a sudden does what China's doing reduce their interest rates then all of a sudden people start buying up homes again that means home prices are going to go back up that also means your pre-construction property is going to increase in value dramatically so you might have owed 60 percent but by the time it's finished the property value went up another 40 percent so now you really only owe 30 percent loan to value and so your loan possibilities change your credit score what once may be needed for 60 percent ltv you damn near don't need much of a credit score if you have a 30 percent ltv all right somebody will fund that um so all i'm saying is that's the situation when why you need your credit to be up to par and that's why you should stay with smart credit over the next few years get it monitored make sure you know what you can use and how much you have to pay per month to increase your credit score and have that identity theft situation handled it's included for free no additional charge so check out smart credit down below all right never been to aruba do their resorts have the all-inclusive concept like the dr yes some of them do this particular resort does not yes generally in the, in all of the care not all in, in caribbean mexico they started these all-inclusive options um years ago because they can charge people crazy numbers i mean even 75 dollars per night per person I, i'm it just blows me away nobody I, I can go to anywhere in the caribbean anywhere in mexico anywhere in central america anywhere in south america there is no way me and four people are going to sit up here and i don't even know how we're going to eat uh six hundred dollars a day that's insane 
I just don't know how that would happen. I mean, there's there's ways it can happen, but I, I just don't know how it's going to happen. So these resorts are charging seventy five dollars a person per day, one hundred dollars per person per day for these all inclusives. And I'm just like, man, uh, I generally don't like staying at all inclusive generally. Uh, unless, well, like I said, one of my favorite places, I'm a sucker for the hard rock in Punta Cana. Um, but that's because they have the gelato and everything too. So see, I get to go up there all day, every day, get my gelato. Um, <laughs> and I like Benihana's too. So what can I say? Um, but anyhow, uh, no all inclusive at that Aruba, but Aruba does have all inclusive places. It's just not a proliferation of them like in most Caribbean uh, places that in fact, I don't even think there may only be three or four spots that are all inclusive in a room, but everything is just reasonable. There's it's not like uh, in Miami or something. Byzantine red. Welcome to the SSN nation Friday night live stream. Very, very happy to see you once again. Thank you so much for being here. And he says, she said, Hey, Hey to you as well. And good evening. Good evening to you as well. Very, very nice to see you once again. I went to Aruba five years ago. Yes, they had all inclusive. I'm not sure about now. Yes, Leah Dennis, they have all inclusive. It's just not all resorts are all inclusive. So just like La Cabana's, they don't, it's not all inclusive. But in the Radisson, not all inclusive. Uh, but there's all inclusive because they have Divi resorts there. They're, they have all inclusive, but it's not like where we're in Cancun or something where damn near everything's all inclusive. Uh, so, uh, but you, that's the beauty of Aruba. And quite frankly, let's just call it what it is. The island's not that big. And the infrastructure, usually all inclusives are, are pretty nice. So it might be a little overkill if you try to put in a, Malia Resort, Moon Palace Resorts and things like that with all this extra curricular um, amenities, it's generally not needed. So just let you know about that. But yeah, they have all inclusive. Just I don't know how many they have. Thanks, boss, man. Uh, you're welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm going to play a little video. Let me see. I uploaded a video tonight. Let's see which one this one is. Oh, this is the Lacabana promo. For SSN Lifestyle members, you can use it to actually help promote and maybe earn commission because once it's gone, it's gone. SSN Lifestyle Founders Club members, your $200, you have to actually hit me up and reserve it before midnight tonight, all right, or however long it's available. Let's just put it that way because anybody can snatch it up at any time, but up until midnight tonight, $200. It'll always be $200, but... That's what I put as a timeline so you guys can make it happen before it gets booked. All right. So just letting you know that. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. SSN Lifestyle Exclusive. La Cabana Resort and Casino on the island of Aruba. Studio unit that sleeps up to 4 August 27th through September 3rd, 2022. Only $1,295 for one lucky individual. Amenities include the beach, on-site pool with multiple jacuzzis, a casino, a fitness center with a gym, spa, and salon. And your studio unit, it sleeps up to four. A full kitchen, a queen-size bed, a sofa sleeper with a patio and balcony area. Amenities on site further include deli, restaurant, shops, and more. An adventure of a lifetime. Order your stay today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a little promo. That's so people can actually use their own affiliate link, referral link, and have potential customer or guest sign up and earn commission. How simple is that? You don't have to own anything, but it's a lifestyle. And again, I'll say it again. Founders Club members have privileges. And that's why if nobody books it, they want to book it. It's $200 for the whole week for them. That's right. Other memberships. I'm sorry. Founders Club, like I keep telling you, is VIP. All right. 
Let's keep moving, ladies and gentlemen, because we have some strategies. And Leah Dennis actually touched upon the strategy when she asked about pre-construction in downtown Miami. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about because you don't need credit to get in pre-construction. Why? Because you're going to put down anywhere from 10 to 20 percent and then you make a monthly payment because they haven't built the project yet they are going to take a year or two to build a project meanwhile you make your monthly payments putting skin in the game how simple is that and then since you put enough skin in the game like i said before you'll have 60 or 70 percent that you have paid down generally your pre-construction property goes up in value so now you may have find yourself with the 50 percent ltv or 40 percent ltv victor uh not victor but wilson Koo, you're in the house tonight what's it looking like out there these days with multi uh multi-family or vacation homes um what happens when somebody has 50 percent ltv or 40 percent ltv what's the ltv rate that they need now because i know they probably started moving it back to probably 60 at least 60 percent or better otherwise you're going to need a higher credit score or have to put down more money but uh, if you know let us know what that number is these days because i'm thinking if property values go up and you only have a 50 percent or 40 percent value compared to your house or your condo I'll give people an example in case you're not familiar with what I'm referring to. Let's just say you were going to buy a $200,000 villa. And then they told you to put 30%, uh, 10% down, and then you're going to pay 20% during the course of the next two years. So that means you put down 30%, which means 60,000. You're going to owe 140,000, right? So, I think that's the right numbers. A hundred, yeah, that'll be 140,000 owed, 60% LTV. Now, here's what happens. What happens if the property goes up to 250, but now you owe 140? So now that gives you your LTV starts getting a little bit better. You're almost closer to 50%, probably that's 55 or so. And now your loan numbers could change. Maybe they won't require another set of 20% down. Maybe they'll just say your credit score needs to be 720. But that gives you a better option than if you had a loan to value of 70%. Big difference potentially. But Wilson Kuhl will let us know what's happening right now. Again, we may not find out for the next six months to a year when people's uh, projects are complete and then they're trying to get loans and at that time, if things keep going this way, we're going to have to be getting loans at 10, 11 percent internationally, which would be crazy. So just letting you know about that, that's how you can get into the real estate game. How else can you get in the real estate game? Maybe Wilson Koo is still here. We can talk about that. All right, because how you get in the real estate game with no credit again how about you go out there and find some property and then you sit there and say, hey, man, this property, it's going to be worth $500,000. We're talking about, let's say, three or four units. They're worth, it would be worth $500,000. I can pick this thing up for $150,000, but doggone it, the rehab is going to cost about $150,000, $200,000. I don't have enough money. Well, see, here's the situation. Wilson Koo used to have loans that could actually get you that after rehab value. So it could be you might be able to get that 250 after rehab value is going to be 500. That's 50% LTV. It could be possible. That was six months ago. I don't know about now. So I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, once again, your credit may not be needed or overwhelmingly needed. You may have to put down the 20% or 10%. I don't know the parameters, but all I'm saying is if it's still available, you can get in is all i'm saying all right it's all i'm trying to say okay now anybody else here tonight we're at 55 minutes please smash the like button boom boom it's free please if you like what we're talking about so far subscribe to the channel and then click the all notification bell 
that's all we got to do there. All right. Because we want the YouTube gods to know that we have people in the house watching the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. All right. Okay. Where else are we going to go tonight? We're going to stay with real estate. Look, I'm just going to say in case you're new and haven't been here before, for two years, we've been talking about pre-construction in the Puna Cana Dominican Republic area and Dominican Republic overall. The reason why is because it's the number one tourist destination in all of the Caribbean and in the Latin countries. And they have tourists from all over the world, which is why they're the number one destination. And not only is it that simple, it's this simple. They are building what you would consider an American infrastructure. What I mean by that is why would somebody want to go to an Orlando, to a Miami, to a Hollywood? That's what they are building in the DR. They are building it such as a tourist destination, amusement parks, convention centers, specialty condominium properties that are allowed to rent out to anybody. Lakes inside properties, running trails, amenities, pools, restaurants, bars, fitness room, yoga room, golf courses. Some cases, people are on the beach or by the beach. Other places, people are making their own man-made lakes and beaches. They're making it like Orlando, Hollywood combined. All right? They're doing a great job amusement parks great job convention centers for business people great job and the reason why i came out two years ago one of the first people coming out advocating pre-construction in the dominican republic especially in puna cana is because the puna cana airport is number one 60 percent of all traffic that goes into the dr people land at punta cana so if there's 600,000 visitors, like the record in June, 644,875 people went to the DR, an all-time record for the month of June and an all-time record. Oh, man, I get excited. I get excited because that means if I know 680 or 645,000 roughly came, 60% of those, 400,000 people came through Punta Cana Airport. Now, they could have driven 30, 40 miles away. They could have, forget all that, driven all the way to San Domingo or Las Toronas, three, four hours away, whatever. But the fact of the matter is you have that many people in the middle of summer coming through Puna Cana means where are all these people going to stay every month? Ladies and gentlemen, just to give you an idea, that's 100,000 people every week. In the month of June, which is low season as far as I'm concerned, what's going to happen when there's no COVID, when there's no war, none of this is going on and things get back to somewhat normal? What if it's 750,000 people in June? And what if it's 800, 850,000 people in January, each month in January, February, March, and April? That's coming to the DR. And that means 500,000 people are landing at the Puna Cana Airport, and this is why Puna Cana Airport is expanding. They have no choice. If this doesn't get you excited, ladies and gentlemen, to be in that region or even be in the DR because they're upticks. Hollywood has come calling. They're making movies in the DR. The Latin Music Awards are already there. Let's get real, ladies and gentlemen. All right, come on. We picked a good one on this case. Victor Morrell picked it before I even talked about it. He was already had a deal in 2018. I didn't, me and Victor Morero didn't even know each other. He just happened to be here on the channel eventually. And then I started talking about pre-construction and he's like, I bought it Connor Rock two years ago. <laughs> I was like, oh my, he got one hell of a deal. Just like everybody at CRISPR, they bought in 2018, 2019. They, a three bedroom was under 60 grand at CRISPR. Now they're having problems 
because in their contract it says they can raise the rate after a person uh purchases and in their contract it doesn't give a percentage it's open so they've been jacking people 40 percent more 30 percent more but see here's the thing they're 40 percent more is a person has a three bedroom with a terrace he bought for 50. they want 20 g's more they want it's seventy two thousand. now i'd be upset myself I'd, I'd be like very upset but the point i'm trying to make is uh three bedroom condo with a terrace for seventy two thousand dollars right now if you can find that somewhere that is a deal that is you can't get it anywhere um so i'm just saying that's crazy right there but they could have gotten it for 50 which is the weirdest thing right that's even better if they could but apparently crispr's not doing that so far it hasn't come to a head yet all right here we are curtis davis is in the house welcome to the ssn nation friday night live stream and he has the icon next to his name and please let me know who saw the trailer and who received the youtube notification and he has a tagline ladies and gentlemen he brought it with him tonight good evening ssn family abmm dividend stocks hell yes abmm always be making money that goes along with tonight how to get good credit we talked about it early get money that's right always be making money ladies and gentlemen and we have strategies just like we were talking about pre-construction that's a strategy ladies and gentlemen that's a strategy dividend stocks he brought in dividend stocks that's another strategy that you can use victor morero brought in the etf stocks earlier dividend stocks we have some favorites my favorites anyhow other people have other favorites i like agnc right a g n c i like o r c i like p s e c why because they're double digits percentage on your money over 12 percent well p s e c probably not anymore they're probably at 9.8 or so but nonetheless we want to be as close to 10 percent or higher as possible due to inflation so if we're going to have our money working for us we want a high interest rate, double double digits if we can get them. That's why you buy pre-construction because if you're going to rent it out, you can generally get close to 20 to 30% return on your money. Now, if you do some damage like Mr. Marrero did, where he was able to get a property, $300,000 all in it, Margaritaville. Again, I get excited when I talk about real estate because sometimes people do things exactly how you should be doing it margaritaville amenities 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 and at the time it wasn't location 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 but apparently they knew what they were doing they bought in the right spot so now their location is awesome and the amenities are awesome nobody's leaving and guess what i'm gonna charge you five six eight hundred dollars per night because i have a two or three bedroom unit and hell yes people are going to stay there and victor morero's place is booked up damn near 90 some percent of the time this year the last year ladies and gentlemen let me explain can you imagine uh, can you imagine it's august 1st you look at your calendar and you go hey all my nights are booked except for four nights and then you go look at your september calendar and you're like all my nights are booked except for six nights and then you look at November and December and you're like, wait a minute, there's only like 12 or 15 nights that are not booked for the rest of the year. And people are going to pay me top dollar. Why are they going to pay top dollar, ladies and gentlemen? Amenities, amenities, amenities. That's one thing. Luxury, luxury, luxury is another thing altogether. And people pay for upscale luxury. And that's why if you have a pre-construction property, you don't go in with that flim flam Ikea crap. You don't do that. You make sure your place, if you're going to rent it, you want it to be like a five-star hotel when people arrive. Make sure you have the right curtains, the right bedspreads, the right sheets, the right colors. You don't have black walls, okay? Don't do nothing crazy, all right? You want ambiance you want things to seem clean you don't want to have rugs in your rooms 
What I mean by that, carpeting. You don't want carpeting generally if you're going to be in a sandy area. So if you're going to be in a beach environment, you do not want carpeting. You're going to wear your people are going to wear it out. So you got to have tile, which that's what they're doing in the DR. They're not skimping. But all I'm saying is everything matters. Coffee makers, blenders, all of this matters. Toasters. Don't be getting the cheap stuff. All right. You want stuff that people are familiar with where they can use it. Ease of use. You don't want to have a 35 inch or 30 inch flat screen. All right. You want the biggest one you can afford to go in the main room. 75, 65 inch. And well, 85 might be too big, depending on the villa you have. 85 might be right. But that's big enough. In the bedrooms, you don't want no 20 some inch screens. You want 50 something or bigger, whatever can fit in the spaces. All right. End tables. You don't want cluttered. You want a nice little light. Right. Maybe put a coaster down, candles, something. But you don't want stuff all over counters because when people come in, they're unloading their luggage. They're unloading their own personal items. So that space makes it comfortable when they're sitting there and not having to move stuff around, feeling like, oh man, that's in the way. I don't want, they don't feel comfortable. So that's why when you go to a hotel room, they minimize it. When you stay in five-star locations, you don't see clutter, ladies and gentlemen. You see lighting, you see fresh, airy, you see pictures on the wall. And the pictures on the wall, Jesus, I'm getting excited. The pictures on the wall should represent places that are there in that city, state, or country. So when people are looking at the pictures, they realize, oh, yeah, we can go do this. Oh, yeah, there are boats at the marina we can go do fishing. Oh, yeah, we should go swimming out there in the ocean because all those fish in the ocean. All right? You set it up so when people arrive, they're in the mood. You can get them in the mood. And don't forget Victor Morero. Victor Morero. Victor Morero knows as good as I do. When people show up, you leave a gift basket. You give them a gift basket. All right. I don't care what you put in the gift basket, but even if it's just chocolates or something, give them a gift basket to welcome them to your place. That's what you should do. Leave something in the fridge, whether it's even waters, sodas, doesn't matter. Leave something there for them. All right. Those are the keys on why. You could be in the same apartment or villa association. One person next door has a rent of $300 a night. The other person, three doors down, is renting for $450 a night. Why is there a difference? Just what I just talked about. One guy has Ikea. One guy doesn't care about what his paint on the walls look like doesn't put pictures on the wall, has stuff cluttered around, doesn't make it comfortable because he bought cheap couches, cheap love seats, cheap plastic chairs, put stuff out on the patio balcony, some cheap plastic crap, coffee table is some cheap crap, goes to the kitchen, bought some pots and pans in there that are $25 for a set, Instead of that two, $300 set that looks nice and works nice and is up top notch, doesn't have the, the toaster, doesn't have the blender, doesn't have a coffee maker. Well, may have a coffee maker, but Mr. Coffee, coffee maker crap. And then when people leave, they just go, ho, ho, yeah, it was nice. We stayed there. It's cool, whatever. Versus the 450, dude. Oh, we got a basket of stuff on here. It was the best night's sleep we ever had on vacation because he bought the freaking cool-ass bed. Left the stuff in the cupboards and, and, and left us drinks in the fridge. Man, we had the juicer already. We had everything we wanted. Had the hair dryer already set for us in all the bathrooms. The towels, they weren't them chimpsy-ass towels with holes damn near in them or worth $2.00. No, they had the $10, $15 each type of towel, soft, good washcloth, soft, good. All that represents, ladies and gentlemen, 
That's why you're able to charge more. What, what do you think the difference is between a five-star resort and a three-star? Those are the differences. The welcoming, the inviting atmosphere, the rooms, the way they are made up. You feel good that you paid the extra two or $300 per night. All right, I'm just saying. Once again, you heard me talk about this before. I get excited because I see nothing but we have winners in the house. Some We have over 35, 36 winners in the house and we have a new winner. He just sent me a message to uh, on a week ago, which I just found out about it today. He, I'm trying to find out where he bought at in Puna Kana. So I believe that's number 37. We have 37 people here in the SSN Nation that has bought in Puna Kana area. Because I don't know where he bought. He just said he bought, but I was trying to find out which project. But we have 37 that has bought in Puna, 36 in Puna Kana, one in Santo Domingo. And then we have people that did buy in Los Toronis as well. I think it's two or three people in Los Toronis. So we're approaching Wilson Koo. We're approaching 40 people. And speaking of this, since I'm on this little kick, I got to say this again since we talked about credit. In order to get in on this, you don't need credit, ladies and gentlemen. You will need credit a year or two later when you have to finance it if you're not going to pay it all off. So you have a year or two to get your credit in order. Meanwhile, you make your monthly payment. All right. Because we don't know where the uh, interest rates are going to be. Now, there's something downtown, ladies and gentlemen, that's very interesting. I haven't talked about it yet. Um, the seed. Ah, can't remember the name of it now. Um, it's called the uh, seed. Ah, well, I'm going to pull this up in a second. Let me see if I can get it. First, though, since I started talking about the Dominican Republic, we have strategies. We always do for everything. What goes up must come down. We have strategies. DJ Robbie D's in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. He has the icon next to his name as well. So thank you so much. He says, Hello, SSN Nation. Let's get this knowledge. Hope all is well. Yes, all is well. You can tell we're rolling downhill, ladies and gentlemen. SSN Lifestyle. Links are down below. Oh, speaking of investments, while I'm at it, we have a 5,100 passive income opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of SSN Lifestyle, but it's an SSN Nation Stop Struggling Now thing. Earn 5% to 0% every week of payout, ladies and gentlemen. But we have to reach that 5,100 goal. So far, I believe 250 has been put in. It starts once we reach 5,100. The link is down below. You can use PayPal debit credit to get in. You can only go $100 up to $2,500. And once we reach 5,100, seven to 10 late, days later, you receive your first payout. The money's going to be locked up for six months. It's that simple. At the end of six months, you get your money back or you can re-up and the interest is paid out weekly. Whether you want to use USDT as a payout and also you can use crypto to get in as well or you can have it go to PayPal. Your weekly payout is going to be anywhere from 5% to 0% every week for six months once we reach 5,100. So if you want to get in on something like that, you are here in the SSN Nation, and that's what it's designed for. The link is down below. It says 5,100 Passive Opportunity Fund. All right. DJ Robbie D just reminded me of that. Funny. Byzantine Red. All right. Smash the like button. Thank you so much, DJ Robbie D. Appreciate it. I hate to say it, but I think COVID helped our occupancy. Tourists couldn't wait to leave their homes and start traveling. Exactly. They were all under lockdown. And Disney, you're in Disney, Orlando. I mean, or Disney's the, the epitome, or not Disney, but Orlando's the epitome of creating something out of thin air. Orlando, guys, look, I'm going to tell you guys something. I uh, was a kid. I was lucky enough to go to the Magic Kingdom in Orlando. Disney World when it first opened. Can you imagine that? First opened when I 
Disney was in the middle of a freaking field. Literally. Field. Just like you see it off of I-4 right now. And now they have other structures like hotels and all that. From I-4 to where Disney was, was all clear. Clear. There was nothing there. It was in the middle of nowhere. It was like, you're like looking around like, why did they put this here? The city of Orlando was not even really nothing. I mean, it was like ludicrous. This is literally what's happening in the Dominican Republic. It's like nothing but jungles over there. Lots of vegetation. And here they are building an infrastructure similar to like what Disney has done. They're building it there. But even Disney didn't do an advanced situation like this. The best thing they had with water was going through Magic Mountain and coming out on the water. They didn't have all these lagoons and all this stuff. They had the Captain Nemo, things like that. But there wasn't this thing such as wet and wild that wasn't there. They didn't have all these water parks, golf parks, all that. Well, guess what? The DR, they're saying, no, we want all of that. Bring it. Bring it. So all I'm saying, it's getting hectic over there. All right. So the tourists are going to come wherever there's a place that has to do with upscale, family, and fun, and business. And that's what Orlando built. And the Dominican Republic is using that same playbook because there's not too many places on the planet that can do that. This is why Miami is one of the hot spots. This is why New York's a hot spot. San Francisco, L.A. There's reasons these are hot spots that generally when businesses, Las Vegas, when businesses want to do something, they go there. Business people, what do they do? They go there, they hang out, they have fun. Next thing you know, some of the CEOs, some of the executives who make a lot of money, they go, you know what? I'm going to put a second home out here. And it's not going to be a $200,000 second home. It's going to be a $1.5 million second home, right? So that's the advantages when you start bringing in tourists and you have upscale locations as well as family-friendly locations, all right? So just keep all that in mind. That's why I get a bit, little bit excited. I got sidetracked because, you know, I was going to go to Dominican today. Wilson Koo says, evening at Curtis D., Guess what? We no longer have a binder waiting for the tourist. We now have a QR code on the back of the key sleeve that provides runners all the information they require, keeping up with technology. See, here we go. Another little tip, ladies and gentlemen. Another great tip. The QR code. Most people have cell phones, so therefore it works. And you can have everything, just like when you go to a restaurant and have a menu come up, they use the cell phones now right same thing talk about awesome talk about awesome so that's why i have to get excited whenever we get into the real estate phase i start getting excited especially since i know i'm i'm very i just have to say it I, again thank you everybody for your support and thank you uh for being here i just have to say it's been a ride because I just, in my head, I just can't believe it's been two years since I made that first video talking about, hey, this is why you want to consider getting pre-construction property in Puna Kana area. And from that point on, we have almost 40 people who have bought in the Dominican Republic. And it looks like from all accounts that we're just going to be winners. And it's not going to be a, a, a small win either. We're talking about a situation where everybody should be getting about 20% return on their rental money and the value of their properties in some cases may have may have be doubled by the time it's built so i'm just saying this is exciting to see and and i'm just so happy that people were listening and uh, paying attention and victor morero once again just gave out a, a, a he just gave out a gym because most of us aren't even going to have our properties done over there. And even if you have a property now, a QR code is the way to go. Because you can have everything on there. You can have your, pass, your, your password information for the Wi-Fi. You can have locations. You can have this, a bunch of stuff. And Victor Morrell, you just gave me an idea that I didn't even think about, quite frankly. Because that's what I'm going to, I'm thinking, wait a minute, hold on. How much can I do with this QR code stuff? I'm thinking, who knows what happens next year? 
we have to implement that in the dr think about it exactly i already thinking about it it's less paper to print and maintain you can update the information via website exactly i was as soon as you said it that's why i said i didn't even think about it but now think about it this is all this is beautiful this is seriously beautiful and i'm thinking other things as well victor Marrero. i'm already thinking about entertainment because you know if you're an ssn lifestyle member if you haven't joined yet please do that's another way business opportunities are coming your way passive income is at hand you can do that with the 5100 club we got the uh the uh, ring of fire which is like our shark tank where you'll be able to invest in businesses fingernails to go rental property type uh, rental management company coming up you can put money in receive passive income it's exciting I'm thinking about that QR code what the in a year or over this next six months what's going to happen how far can that QR code go that's what I want to know because I'm thinking there might be another advantage that I can have because now all of a sudden you're going to say hey I can actually add something to that so they can go somewhere and show the QR code to a business or something because that would even be more exciting because then you can do some prepayment stuff and get bigger discounts and then when they get there they just flash it and you're in oh it would be beautiful well we'll see how this all works out but that's great to know and I didn't know they were doing it at the hotels that's beautiful that's beautiful beautiful not having to have all that paper sitting around not having to call up and say hey what's going on not you can have instructions on there because in the dr you're not going to rent with unlimited uh electricity you're going to have to have the instructions multiple times i need that uh the meter read you're going to need it because you're not electricity is expensive all right okay ladies and gentlemen well here's what we're going to do we talked about credit, but this has to do with credit. The links are down below for business and personal. If you have any questions, hey, this is interesting. What's going on here? I have somebody doing a, a, a date. What is this dating thing? All right. Now, I see how we are. Sheesh. All right. Here's the Dominican today, and then we'll get out of this because we did talk about Lofty Brickle downtown. We did a video on that last week. So let's see. Yeah, this Dominican Republic scores red in the press freedom. Jeez, dictatorship like that's not good. Here we are. Jet blue. It looks like delay. Nonsense to want to close jet blue. Oh, those in power never cease to surprise public proposal of the president of the chamber deputy to shut down jet blue airlines for its bad onboard experience. You know, a politician. You think they are master of the country generating problems for a long time it's not an example of from makes mistakes regularly oh my that's not good pro says no more warnings for jet blue oh that's not good tourist workers demand tip money of course oh yeah at yeah i had a problem at the all-inclusive victor marrero and, and some people may know when i'm in the dr I stayed at all inclusive and I tipped people just out of courtesy. And these people were running down the halls to come get me saying, I'm sorry, I can't take this. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Um, lack of Russians impacts the global Leah hotel. That's no big deal. Um, Cause we had a record in June. Let's see what the record is this month. Outrage of passengers in the ALA for new registration system. U.S. consolidates position in Dominican Republic's largest tourist source for more than 50% of arrivals. Yeah, the word is out. 85 degrees all year long on average. The word is out. Caribbean Lake renewed to offer unlimited fun in Puna Cana. In case you're not familiar with Caribbean Lake, they added that too. Made it better, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah. Good evening, everyone. First time here. Rob A., Welcome to the ssn nation friday night live stream first time thank you so much and good evening everyone first time here i'll say it once again rob a congratulations for being in the house and thank you so much for being here we honor your presence and once again i don't know how long you've been here but let me know what you think so far because if you missed the intro this is our stop struggling now gear 
check. You can see some of it right here. Oh, by the way, let me get the SSN Nation for the new guy, right? The new guy's in the house. So we got the SSN Nation hat and gear. We're talking a little credit tonight, a little how we get that money and talking right now, Rob, eh, is about real estate pre-construction where you don't need credit for that. Anybody can get that pre-construction. I don't care if you're in Miami, if you're in Mexico, if you're in Utah, I don't really care where you are. Pre-construction means no credit check, no qualifying until you have to saddle up with paying it off after your two year or one and a half years or three years, whenever they finish it. But at least you have your down payment in the game. Victor Marrero is here, who's also put his down payment in the game in Puna Cana. We have other people in the house. Wilson Koo, we need to know, hear from you. What is the LTV for international rates right now? Let us know what we can get away with. Is it 60% LTV? And please don't tell me it's 10%. <laughs> that would break my heart. But Rob A., Thank you so much for being here. If there's ever any questions you have, there's a chat room. You can ask it. This is the no guru zone. This is the SSN Nation, SSN University. That's how it works. The academy. But there's no pay. This is where you can hang out and ask questions. And we have so many people with vast experience and knowledge. And your question will get answered. So hopefully that helps you out. You have a bot attack. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Had the Nick say the bot, welcome Rob A. from Leah Dennis. Thank you, Leah. Appreciate that. Rob A. says, oh my, he's in Miami. Then he knows what I'm talking about. Rob A., if you and where are you at in Miami, though? Miami's a big place. Are you in where? At, well, what side? Downtown, outside the city, in one of the suburbs, Fort Lauderdale? What are we talking about here? But nonetheless, lofty brickle, Rob A., that's what we're talking about. That's what Leah Dennis asked me about. We showed that. In fact, I made a video about that. So you can always search the channel. Lofty Brickle, pre-construction property, the premier one now because they built it on the water. They're even going to build their own marina at Lofty Brickle. That's why it's going to be pricey. All right. It's not just on the river. I'm trying to figure out how they got clearance to block off so they can make their own marina. I guess money talks. BS walks, and that's why a penthouse in that place is already $3 million. So, Rob A., you might have heard or might know about Lofty Brickle, but um, that's one of the pre-constructions along with 501 Residences. That's also by American Airlines Arena and uh, by the, I never, I call it the people mover because it reminds me of the old uh, Disney world when they first came out with their little people mover. So I always call it a people mover. Uh, the little metro, but nonetheless, Rob representing the 305. That's right. Welcome. Exactly. Rob, a the family showing some love here in the house. And Victor Marrero, actually, you know what? We never talked about something. Um, uh, you, uh, where were you born at? Because I understand, I didn't realize you were actually from Puerto Rico, quite frankly. So uh, MTM, well, I don't know where that is. But nonetheless, South Florida is always a good place to be. Perfect weather. To me, it's perfect, except it's still in the tropical zone. But it's all good all year. Who doesn't love Miami? There's something for everybody, and the culture is amazing amazing people from all over the freaking world all continents hang out in miami so uh and they're doing big things in miami too and it's about to be like southern california where everything's going to be too pricey for ordinary citizens to live so you better get your uh get a hold if you plan on doing something in south florida i would suggest you do it like well i wouldn't say asap either do pre-construction or just wait and see what the Fed do in September and in December because they should be increasing the interest rates. So therefore, prices have to come down. So I wouldn't be that anxious to get into a Miami real estate at the moment. But just keep on the lookout for being in that SoCal or South Florida area. And we'll see what, how it all shakes out. All right. Well, Rob A from the 305. And just remember, Rob A, I'm Mr. Worldwide. In fact, that brings it up because he knows who Mr. Worldwide is. But let me show you something. 
This is Mr. Worldwide. Okay, you guys know what's coming. Let me see. When am I going to show up here now? Let's do it. Uh, okay, I'll even do this because this is something that happened in Miami. So we'll do this. No, we won't do that. Yeah, we'll do this. Hold on. ladies and gentlemen and by the way if anybody's seen the john wick series um there's a there's a part and i think it's john wick three and the eiffel towers in the background when he walks out in this building and they have a meeting on this deck that's actually the deck that i'm on when i'm shooting a picture of the eiffel tower that's where tourists and a lot of people go because you're sitting there and at night the lights start going off on the on the Eiffel Tower. And I thought it was very, very interesting that it was, of course, e either early morning or early uh, or late evening. And uh, that deck would have been cleared. So uh, just letting you know that is actually there. I probably have pictures of it as well, but that's very interesting. But anyhow, Mr. Worldwide, and I'm going to play one more because this actually shows another i'm mr worldwide from the get-go and you know who i'm talking about since you're in miami that calls himself mr worldwide i'm just playing Here we go. Okay, that was because we have somebody in here from Miami, SoFlo, making it happen. So I figured, why not? Why not show some love to the Miami area? We have more, but not tonight. Okay. All right. Ah, Kendall. Okay, I live in the Kendall area. It's pricey already for the everyday person. Exactly, Rob A. It's out of control already. But don't worry, Rob A. This is the whole point. The Federal Reserve is doing us all a favor. They're going to increase the interest rates in September. They're going to increase the interest rates in, Jan uh, in December, the Federal Reserve rate, and they're going to do it again next year. So therefore, you can't afford these high prices. Nobody's going to be paying them. That means the prices are going to come back down. They're going to drop back down to earth. So what you're supposed to be doing right now, you circle on the calendar wherever you really want it to live, right? Where you thought you could live, but then you're like, damn, it's too, uh, too costly. Circle, go to Zillow, circle, put it down as a save, okay? So then that way you'll get some updates sent to you when something goes up for sale and when they drop prices in that particular area. So when prices drop 50%, that might be in your wheelhouse at that time. And then that's the time to snap it up. You have a window. You have about six months to a year and a half. All right. Just keep that in mind. So it's not don't think you lost all hope. But what you're going to have to do is get that extra revenue, just like everybody else. Get those extra streams of revenue coming in. And so that's what you want to do. And you want to make sure your credit gets better and better over time until you can get close to 800 as possible. And you have months to do it. So that is the playbook that we have here in the SSN Nation. I don't hear anybody else talking about this. 
Nobody else giving you a step-by-step -step playbook on what's going to happen and why it should happen and what you're going to have to do. I don't hear anybody else going out here on a limb. I hear people making things like, yeah, it's going to be a recession. But who's talking about prices are going to go down? Yes, they're saying 10%. I want 50. We're looking at 50%. That's why I'm saying put it in right now because a lot of people, they go brain dead because you have so many things to do. So therefore, it's almost like, I could have sworn they were selling that house for seven hundred and fifty thousand a year, uh, six months, eight months ago. But nah, it's down to five hundred. It didn't. It, it must have. I must be mistaken. It must have been for sale for five ninety or six hundred. It, it couldn't have been seven fifty. So then you don't have perspective at that point. So that's why seven fifty down to four fifty. All of a sudden you're like, whoa, wait a minute now. That's the neighborhood I wanted to live in. That's the house that I. That similar house I wanted to get, four fifty. I I'm, I'm liking that now, right? And heaven forbid if it goes down to three seventy five, that's fifty percent. Now all of a sudden you're gonna be jumping for joy. Okay, where, where do I buy this thing at? Because remember, after this one, the transfer of wealth is off the charts. Ordinary citizens, you're going to be wiped out. In other words. If you don't get it when it drops this time, this may be off to the races for a lifetime, similar to what has happened in Europe. Okay, so in Europe, this has already played out already seven, eight, ten years ago when they went to negative interest rates and the rich were able to borrow at zero percent and then get interest only for 10 years. So needless to say, they didn't care how much a house was. Three million, four million for ordinary house that regular citizen can own. They didn't care. They just pay for it. They don't have any have to pay interest. So all homes in downtown London that used to be a thriving residential neighborhood for ordinary citizens is a thriving empty neighborhood because all the homes are five, six, seven million dollars and only corporations own them. This is what's going to happen. So when this drop comes this time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you better pounce and go for your best place that you always wanted to live. All right. No time to, for the faint at heart. And at the meantime, make sure you have your streams of revenue all built up along the way. All right. Yes, I was born in Puerto Rico, left the island in 1982 to join the army, never went back except for vacation. My wife is from DR, but I know about the DR, more about the DR than her. So uh, where did you grow up in PR? That's the question. Um, I lived over there at Arecibo, uh, Phosphorescent Bay. I used to be able to speak Spanish. <laughs> Not anymore. I moved to America <laughs> where nobody spoke Spanish in the Northeast. And it wasn't New York City either. That would have probably helped. I moved to that New Jersey where people were looking at me like, I got to give you guys a story. I'm in New Jersey and uh, I'm speaking Spanish to some other, actually, look, there was only a few people that understood Spanish. So we're speaking Spanish a little bit. And then the people were like, they were in denial. They're all like, you don't know Spanish. I'm like, how do you know? You know, do you even know what I said? So, uh, then they had Spanish class. Oh, that was interesting. I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'll get an A in this. So uh, if you actually grew up outside of the United States and you speak Spanish, then you come to America and open up a book and they you see that Spanish, all you could reference is this ain't Spanish. It's like, well, whose Spanish is this? Nobody talks like this. This is ridiculous. And then they'd be like, oh, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I'd be like, okay break open the chalkboard. This is what it's supposed to be. And you guys are using these nouns, pronouns all wrong. This ain't even right. The book's wrong. <laughs> they were all like, this is not right. How's this guy know all this stuff? But then nobody spoke Spanish. And after you go through years of nobody speaking Spanish, and that was never your first language, then you lose it. And just like I used to speak French too. And then nobody in America spoke French crazy all right so victor marrero san juan or uh by bacardi where at 
Maya Guez. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, I didn't know. Do you have your uh, birth certificate? Out of curiosity. Oh, my God. Bayamon. Arecibo, are you kidding me? I'm from Bayamon. Exactly. The new highway on the north side takes you from Arecibo to San Juan in less than two. Oh, my. See, it used to take longer than that, and you know it. That was like a day. Well, not day. Probably three and a half the other way. Uh, beautiful part of the island is north side. You got that right. Man, never lucky enough on that new highway. But that's awesome because that changes the whole landscape. Two hours to San Juan. That's sweet. But, uh, yeah, I would never trade that. Every kid should grow up in Puerto Rico. Every kid. Especially in Arecibo, um, Bayamon. Uh, I used to uh, – Phosphorescent Bay. I mean, geez, I can't even – Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just say, I'm just going to say, unlike when we come, okay, first of all, I get, I, I get excited whenever I talk about this. Imagine, okay, we have Florida. We have, we have Pacific Ocean is garbage, okay? Let's just get that straight. We have Florida. We have the Gulf of Mexico, right? We have the Keys. But there is something special about Puerto Rico because it's family, it's friends. Can you imagine? It doesn't seem like they do this in America. In Puerto Rico, we're hanging out. All of a sudden we go, hey, why don't we just go throw a party at the beach? So now people bring food. We do the bonfire. We got hook up the music. We're out here dancing under the stars. The water is like barely coming up because we don't have like freaking 30 foot waves or nothing. It's like peaceful sunshine. The moon's out. The weather's like 80 at night, 85. Victor Morero, you know what I'm talking about. We're down at the pavilions because they have pavilions on the beach. Gazebos on the beach, unlike in America. I don't know what time, what's going on. And you didn't have to pay. You just show up. No problems. Nobody's out there harassing you. Nobody's police ain't showing up, jamming you up. We're out here fixing food, partying, drinking. No problems. No problemos. Come on. Victor Morero knows what I'm talking about. Everybody should grow up in this life. Oh, and by the way, here's the other thing about the look. I'm going to say this. This is what I loved about Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. You see my skin color. You see Victor Morero's picture, right? You could see people darker than me, lighter than him. They are Puerto Rican. There's none of this crap that we got going on over here in America. Everybody's Puerto Rican. So if you walk up to anybody of any color and start going, this racism BS, it's like, what the frick are you talking about? I'm Puerto Rican. You better back up. There isn't this, this stuff that we have in America. So I come back to America, and then it's like, man, you just recognize racial situations are crazy. But over in Puerto Rico, it's reversed. You'll get your, they get upset you over there trying to act like somebody's somebody. We didn't even have to think like that. Everybody was Puerto Rican. We didn't think we were separate. It was one nation under a groove, and we having a blast. Victor Morero will tell you, we had nothing but fun over there on that part of the island. That's all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. All right. One of my favorite joints. One of my favorite places. I'm trying to secure property next to the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez. Oh, man, that's funny. My mom went to the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez. In fact, I should, man, I might even have one of her and uh, the American, uh, there's another college too, uh, American something. But anyhow, um, man, that's awesome. Plan is to rent separate rooms to engineering and medical students. This is a money printing machine. I would say so. How big is University of Puerto Rico now? Because before it was almost like, what, a high school or something. <laughs> I mean, seriously. 
So that's cool, though. But hell yeah. Um, that island is, man, I'm so glad that America never actually did anything with the territory. Because it's if it was left alone, that would be, I mean, it's, it's one of the most hidden treasures. Forget San Juan. San Juan is okay. But you want to be on the end that me and Marrero hung out. Arecibo, Mayaguez, Bayamon, over there, ladies and gentlemen. That's the side you want to be on. You come down on the side of a hill. You're down at the water. The water is not like I said. We don't have 20-foot swells or nothing. It's just chill zone. Most of the time, everybody was cool. I mean, you know, you have bad people everywhere. But generally, 99% of the time, no issues. Everybody's all love. We all Puerto Rican. We all good. Hanging out. No problem. There we go. Inter-American University. There we go. That's the one. Inter-American. That's where my mom graduated from, um, Victor Marrero. So, uh, um, but yeah, man, that's crazy. Small world. I was like, wait a minute. I just realized he said he was from Puerto Rico. What the heck? Yeah, man. That was one of the best times of my life, quite frankly. No hands down hands down and also it had a little bit more support on the from americans at the time um so that made a big difference as well but uh they let that island that should have been a pair that should have been cuba they have the beaches are right everything's right but they would have messed up everything that's all they would have done they would have just put up these mega resorts like they were doing at san juan so uh, here we go again. Here we go again. I don't know what's going on with this person. Uh, man, I can't tell you that. Then I'll tell you my age. Four and a half, four and a half years. Four and a half years of pure pleasure. Four and a half years, Victor Marrero. Pleasure. Nothing but love. Uh, well, okay. I, I, I don't have love for the Sam Juan side. <laughs> Which is the funniest part. I mean, Sam Juan is cool and all. I mean, but come on. Uh, our side's better is what I call it. Ladies and gentlemen, glass boats. They have a place called Phosphorescent Bay. I don't know what they call it now, but that's what we used to call it. And you have a glass boat. You go out and the ocean, you could, it's night, but the coral lights up. And you literally see through your glass boat and it looks just like you're right there on top of the, the coral. And it's lit up and you go all over. It's cool as hell. That's the only place I've ever seen it. I mean, I'm sure there's other spots around the world. But it's in Puerto Rico. They have uh, at Arecibo, they have uh, my favorite beach of all time. The water trickles onto the beach three, four inches. That's it. That's it. And since it's surrounded by coral, you can go out 30, 40 yards and it goes up to your waist. Man, man. It's a paradise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, enough about this, this reminiscing. Let's get back to the business at hand. SSN Lifestyle members, this is what you want to do. This is what you guys want to do. You want to be able to travel all over the world, but you know traveling all over the world requires a few things. You must have extra streams of revenue. And those extra streams of revenue must be coming in without you doing anything. Like, for instance, you've already done something, but now that you've done it, you can go get on a plane now. And when somebody pays you, it's automated. So you receive payment. You're good. They receive what they need to receive or you receive payment and then you need to do something on your computer or your phone and facilitate the remaining part of it. But it's minimal. But you can be anywhere in the world except for the North and South Pole, right? Because you're going to need Internet. But the point is. That's what you want to set up, right? So that's why I set up SSN Lifestyle, just so you can do that. 
just like right now, you guys could be earning 5% to 0% every week as a payout from the 5,100 passive income opportunity business. That's down below. You could also say, okay, Eric, you talked about that La Cabana Resort and Casino tonight. You could refer, post up on your social media. Hey, anybody want to go to Aruba August 27th for a week? It's only $1,295. Post it up a few times. Then you go out and party tonight, right? Or you go watch a movie tonight. And then all of a sudden, somebody orders. You receive commissions. Beautiful thing, right? That's the way you want to set it up because you can be anywhere on the planet. Any SSN lifestyle member can live anywhere and they could still post up wherever they live and do whatever they need and say, hey, this is what we have to offer like this. Right. You guys see bone support, bone and joint support cream, D3, magnesium, MSM. We have health products, too, at SSM Lifestyle. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. All right. So um, that's a way we have strategies for everything. And whenever you get in a recessionary situation, just keep this in mind. Victor Marrero has Margaritaville. That is a considered a high end place to stay. And he's full. There's one thing that happens in a recession. The lower 70 percent of the population tightens up their belts. They're not traveling. They're not going too far from their house. Right. But the top 10 percent, as you guys know, already own as much wealth as the bottom 70 percent combined they still have the money top 10 percent not only in america we're still talking about 30 million people in america but there's a top 10 percent in every country that's not going to be affected by a recession that's millions of people so there's still three four hundred million people that travel the world and they hang out in places like Orlando, Dominican Republic, if we're going to say that, Mexico, Brazil, Europe, doesn't matter. They're still going to pay the higher price because they can afford it. So it doesn't stop the ecosystem if you're in the field of health and products because people still, guess what happens in the recession? People still get their beauty items. They still get their health items. It's still going to happen. All right. They may downgrade, but it's still going to happen. I remember a few years back, 2020, during the, um, that COVID, and I told people, hey, check out COTY. That's a stock, Cody. They're one of the unknown biggest um, manufacturers of beauty supplies. Their stock was 2 or $3. I don't know what their stock is now. I sold it a year ago, but it went up. It doubled and tripled. I sold. No sense in being greedy. That is what I'm talking about. Even in the recession, people are going to get certain things and do certain things. And there's a certain amount of the population around the world that can do whatever they want anyhow. And that's who you're tapping into. And that's why you want to have a higher end property because those richer people will want to stay in high end properties or high end locations. So just keep that in mind when you're getting property, if you plan on um, getting real estate and investing in it. All right, here we go. Victor Morrell says, did you know there's a daily ferry from DR to Puerto Rico? No, I did not. You can load your car from P uh, Puerto Rico and DR and use it on the other. I didn't know that. They load it back on the boat and return. No, I used to have to fly over. Um, but nonetheless, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Diesel Mike, welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. And I see you have the icon next to your name. So I thank you so much for being a, a supporting member of the channel. And he has his tagline tonight. Good evening, Eric and Esteson family. Been listening while driving. Thank you, Diesel Mike. And we're still rolling. It's one hour, 54 minutes tonight. I went off the rails a little bit. I started reminiscing about Puerto Rico, hanging out. And then we find out Arecibo and Bayamon is so close, ladies and gentlemen. 
how close is it? It's close enough that if uh, if we knew each other, we would have met each other. That's how close it is. It's close enough. All right. Um, and it's pretty easy to meet people there because people get around if they live in that section. So anyhow, um, thank you so much, Diesel Mike. Been reminiscing the last five, 10 minutes. And, and then we had Mr. Uh, Miami showed up here. So then I had to throw on a few of the little worldwide stuff. And then uh, we're talking about business at hand. We've been talking about credit. We've been talking about how to get some more money. We have our strategies. We're talking about a little strategy on how to make even more profits while we're in a recession or making profits regardless if we're in a recession or not. That's the beauty of it. All the strategies work even if we're not in a recession. Assets are what we need. Passive income is what we need. That's what we need to be working for. One hour, 55 minutes in. Please smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And if you like what we're talking about during the course of this live stream, you should check out some of the videos. And please subscribe to the channel. And if you do that, please click the all notification bell. But better yet, go to the very bottom of our description and sign up for the newsletter. Because even though we have 14,000 subscribers, only 2,200 people received a YouTube notification. That's it. The other 12,000, sorry, they're left out in the cold. They don't even know I uploaded a video yesterday and the day before that. And we had a live stream on Wednesday. And the day before that, another video. And the day before that. Or the video I dropped late last night. They know nothing about it. Only 2,200 people know about it. And if anybody knows numbers, 2 to 3 to 4% are going to open it up. That just gives you an idea, right? So that's why you need to please sign up for the newsletter and get it that way. Diesel Mike, he has saying, all right. It's almost like a contradiction where for the past 50 to 60 years, the American manufacturing base was slowly dissolved and people are out of work, but America's GDP has skyrocketed for decades. <laughs> oh my, oh my, 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 my diesel Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to, tonight I'm having a little more fun than usual, but diesel Mike, hey man, man. You, you're starting to sound a little too uh, intellectual. Doesn't it seem awfully strange? See, this is the problem right here. You sit here and you watch how America operates. Then you all of a sudden realize, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. How is it, just like Diesel Mike is saying, how is it that we had all these car manufacturing companies in the 19... From 19, let's say 1905 to 1970, thousands of workers, Ford, GM, Plymouth, whatever, right? And then in the 70s, Honda, Toyota, Nissan, aka Datsun, the uh, uh, German cars, uh, UK cars, they get a market share into america so we lose millions of jobs to that then we make a deal in the late 90s to mexico nafta and we make a deal with asia we start having our stuff made outside mexico china thailand vietnam philippines where it's cheap ass labor. So we export all our jobs, but somehow our GDP keeps rising. Thank you so much, Diesel Mike, for bringing this subject matter up because you know it's all BS. It's all fake. But here's the thing. What's not fake is this. So actually, how did the GDP skyrocket? Here's how it skyrocketed. All right. So in the meantime, I'm going to say this again, ladies and gentlemen. When somebody comes up to you 
and they tell you, we need to give a tax cut and tax break, you smack them and go, you are against the working class because you are taking the money from me, the working class through my taxes to give to those rich dudes that don't even have to pay hardly any taxes. So I have to pay their fair share. Meanwhile, we have a decline in money. So therefore, as a government, we have to borrow money, a deficit, which now means we're going to print more money just to stay even. Printing more money devalues your currency, which now means anything we sell, we have to increase the price. If you increase the price and you have less buyers, but the price has increased, guess what? Our GDP increases. But guess what? That's not all. I, as the government, the Federal Reserve, I'm going to loan you good boys some money too, not the ordinary citizen. I'm talking about the corporations, the hedge funds. I'm going to loan you some money. So where, where does that money come from? Oh, wait, they're printing it out of thin air again. Devaluing my currency even more? You're giving them more free money? And then they turn around and they say, thank you so much for the millions. Let me go over here and buy up this company. Let me go over here and buy up that company for more money. And because I bought up the company for more money, I have to charge you more money when we produce this stuff. You see how the cycle goes. So Diesel Mike, this is why the GDP always keeps rising. Because it always costs more because America is the world currency and they print up money. A la we're $33 trillion in debt. And actually there's more in derivatives. And actually it's not trillions. It's quad trillions. So therefore... The GDP will always be artificially increased due to the price increase, even though you have less people buying, less people working. 185, 150 to 185 million people are working in a good economy. We have 300, over 300 million American citizens. Only about 30 million are under 18. Therefore, there's always 120 to 150 million people that do not work, ladies and gentlemen. Think about this. So to Diesel Mike's point, how is it that the GDP keeps rising? There's only one way. Prices have to keep rising. That's it. And how are we going to have prices rising? When we print money. When we give out free money. When we make up bonds out of thin air when you're buying stocks and then when you buy stocks these companies at the stock market what do they do they buy their own shares of stock whether they get the free money from the fed or they get the money from you and then they artificially inflate their price for the stocks and who owns stocks you guys know say it with me the top 10 percent of the wealthiest in america own 89 percent of the stock market for all you new people so Stock prices go up. It's paper. It's out of thin air. So we go out here and buy yachts, planes, five homes. It don't matter. But it all goes under the GDP number. There you go. Until it doesn't. And that doesn't is coming up about T minus every month for the next two, three years. All right. So there we go. Hopefully you guys uh, heard what I'm saying. You can check it all out for yourself. There's a correlation. I'm trying to use it in simplest forms. So hopefully you understand. But that is exactly why the GDP is always generally keeps going up because the cost of goods and services keeps going up. If everything stayed the same from 2008 and everything stayed the same price, gas would be $1.79 roughly. The bottled water would be, what, 
a uh, dollar fifty for twenty four. Um, homes would be a third of their price. Therefore, the loans for the homes would be a third of their price. So therefore, our GDP would never be at this high of level. There's just no way. So the only way you can inflate that is you have to inflate your economy artificially. So then therefore, it always appears that your economy is running, you know, running nice. And this uh, new definition of inflation, where because prices rise, that means it's inflation. Um, that's just for consummation by you people. Uh, here in the SSN Nation, we know it's all BS. You're just being thrown under the bus. You just don't know it, but you know it now. Because when people st more people start losing their job and you only have about 125, 100 million people working and you have all these homeless people, it's already happening. You guys just don't know about it because it's not in cities that you would think about. Think about in desert cities where it's generally warm day and night. Think about in Southern California, warm day and night. You're not going to freeze your ass off. So that's where you're going to have millions of homeless people. Florida, um, from Orlando South, the generally more, more closer to Miami than Orlando because in Orlando it does get chilly in, in three months during the year, maybe four. But in South Miami areas, Southwest Florida, it gets cold, chilly, kind of, you know, chilly. What is chilly? It's not like 10 degrees. So that's the areas and around uh, the Gulf. Those are the areas where a lot of homeless people are going to be. And then in major cities in the north, that's where a lot of homeless people are going to be because it's a sheer numbers game. Um, and also 100 million people are going to be working where they're going to have the tax revenue. They're not. It's going to be a, more of a deficit. So that just means the more money printing, quantitative easing. So again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you're going to need your good credit. That's why you need to look down below. If you need credit help, there's Smart Credit, which is a monitoring service that I mentioned before. Use that link. Please sign up. It's $19.99 per month. It's worth it because it helps you monitor and it's better than Credit Karma or anything else because it tells you when you make this payment for this amount on this day, your credit score can increase a set amount of points. So it monitors what you need to do in real time. And that's very, very helpful. And then, of course, if you want to just add to your credit profile to build your credit up, there's some more for personal credit down below. If you want to do business credit, then I have capital on tap for generally a new business six months or older. And you can get a one thousand, two thousand, whatever uh, credit card from them. And then I have uh, you need a net 30 to build your credit score. Then there's crown office supplies because you oftentimes need office supplies and then do not work out of your home, ladies and gentlemen. Things are going to get bad around the, the United States. You should have a virtual office for your business because you want to insulate yourself. Plus, you always want to separate your business from your home. You never want the IRS to be able to come and say, oh, you're commingling. Actually, this is not an LLC or this is not a corporation or whatever. So that's why you set it up at a corporate address. Somebody's answering your phone. That's part of the $99 a month. You're on 411 at that address. Therefore, you can set up your credit file for your business at that address. You receive mail there that they collect. They'll forward to you and they report you to the business credit bureau for paying on time. So it's a win win. And don't forget to use YG1 code to get that admin fee waived. The link is down below in the description. And if you want free stocks from Robinhood and Webull, they're down below as well. Again, that's how we're doing it. But Diesel Mike, you done said a mouthful. This is exactly the problem in America. You don't understand what your government is doing. And you don't understand there's certain segments, parties, factions, people who are actually working against you even though it sounds all good. It sounds good when somebody tells you, oh, it's going to be USA first, right? And then you find out that, okay, I, I can only use this in simple terms. Then you find out that that same people talking that, they have all their stuff made in Thailand, Mexico, Vietnam, China, 
And I'm like, wait, I thought it's America first. Then you find out that they go around the world and tell them, hey, man, we're going to have a tariff war against you. Well, what does a tariff war mean to somebody else? Well, that means their price for that product that's coming into America is going to cost American citizens 5%, 10%, 20%, 30% more. Does that sound like inflation to you? I don't think so. That just sounds like a price increase. So when people are spouting this stuff and doing this other stuff that increases money on you, that's how you increase money on your citizens is when you say, hey, any products coming from outside of the United States, you guys are going to pay 10% more. That means if it costs $100, by the time it lands on our shores, minimum, it's 110. It's the same product, but now it costs 110. And then after you add in supplies and other that, now it's 120. So when these increases in prices come, which is what we have now, there's a direct correlation. And people don't understand when you hear this, you're thinking, oh, yeah, they're there. They're, uh, they should, we shouldn't have to take their products and this, that, and the other, all this rigmarole, this rhetoric about, oh, yeah, well, we shouldn't have to pay tax. Why are they paying tax and we're not paying tax? Or why are we paying tax and they're not paying tax? You know, in an old something right now, ladies and gentlemen, you're all being played if you're not thinking properly. Let me ask you something. If I get something, I'm going to use China. Because everybody, China, that's where people go because of slave labor and paying people pennies a day. I'm getting something from China for $100. Explain to me, if that's a cheap price here in America, why do you care what the tariffs are? Why would you care? You're sitting there going, hey, man, I like this cheap ass price. It's $100. Okay, cool. And then you get this other side of the fence where somebody looks at you and says, oh, man, but when we try to sell our products to China, they jack the rate up 50%. So therefore, we can't get into their markets. And so I'm looking at them like, are you serious? Okay, explain something to me. Those Jordan shoes that come from China, how come they're not being made in America? Oh, well, hey, yeah, we'd have to pay people $15, $20 an hour. Right. Because over there, you're paying them 50 cents, 25 cents an hour. So therefore, that's why you made your factory over in China and you don't really give a damn about if you increase the price 5, 10, 15, 20%, because if they're made in America, the price would have to go up five times. So therefore, we're in a catch 22, ladies and gentlemen, take your pick. Have the factories make the stuff here in America, pay higher wages, which now means people have to pay the true price of the product, which also means, guess what? The businesses have to pay the true price of wages. They can't pay people $15 an hour and $20 an hour no more. But they don't want to do that. Why? Because I'm going to get a hell of a lot more profit from if it's made in China, Mexico, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam. Get it yet? We're all being played. And that's why you have to bring out your extra streams of revenue. That's why you have to look at other places. Like when we start talking about Tulum, Mexico, Merida, where they have pre-construction, when they have pre-construction in the Philippines, where they have pre-construction in the Central America, and it's half the price of what we can pay for things in America, the rest of the world is working on a different ecosystem than we are. So the beauty of it is that's why Americans can live abroad off of their pension money off of their retirement money because a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars in other countries is people's wages for half a year that's what you don't understand 
and yet you get to live like a king, have a maids and all this stuff you want that you can't have in America. So therefore, this is why we are being played and the middle class is about to be abused. So therefore, get your second, third, fourth, fifth streams of revenue ready. You're going to need it. Circle everything on the map that you want and with regards to assets. Don't be shy about it, okay? When these assets drop, you're going to have to pounce because guess who's going to be trying to pounce with you? Those guys that got the free money, all right? Those guys who got the PPP loans, you guys know 90% of it went to the upper 10%. You guys know that, right? They got free money. They're going to be using some of that free money to buy up all this cheap stuff when it comes down. And I'm referring to companies are going to be cheap as well. You're going to be able to buy up companies. You're going to be able to buy up assets pretty cheaply, but you're going to be competing for a minute with all the other guys that got free money. And that's why you need these extra streams. Ramp it up. Save your money in a duffel bag for the time being. It's not going to take too long. We could be talking about six months, three months, two months. They can't keep propping this up forever because here's the key. If they keep printing more money, guess what? inflation gets stronger and higher so they're still doing quantitative easing under the table remember they said oh we weren't going to do any more like three months ago but yet they still are that's printing money that's how inflation incurs if i have 50 million dollars and somebody prints up another 50 million dollars that means we now have a hundred million dollars in circulation. That now means prices are going to go up because our money supply increased. Our money is worth less. So price has to go up. This is not really rocket science. All right. But yet Powell and all Janet Yellen and the government get up there and give all this nonsense, but they're printing more money, which means they are defeating the purpose, which also means interest rates have to keep going up because they know how much money they're printing. We don't. We don't know how many companies are on the uh, teetering on bankruptcy because they have leveraged themselves. We don't know. They know, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, enough with the economics. You know, I've been talking about this for the last three or four days. Let's get back into strategies. And please smash the like button. If anybody has any comments other than what Diesel Mike said, let me know. And also, we might have some other economists around here or economic professors in the house. Let me know what you think about what I just said. If you think it's incorrect, we can have an open discussion here because that's good for everybody. Because then when Jerome Powell gets up there and starts spouting his BS, talking about there's no recession, when everybody knows the definition of recession is two quarters of decline. And then he got up there and said, no. And everybody knew there's going to be a, we knew there's going to be, even though they called it 0.9%, it doesn't matter. That's still a decline and it's actually higher than 0.9%. All right. So whoever they're trying to fool, again, they're not fooling anybody. But America has turned into a, th a third world country. Lying to its citizens about economics, lying to its citizens about how much free money they're giving to their corporations and their buddies. Rigging the system to where you can't get any help. But they're willingly going to help their millionaire buddies and friends. All a disguise. Pilfering the bottom middle class and middle upper class over the last 12 years. And now what's going to happen is we're the Roman Empire where you're not going to be able to tax your citizens enough because you're not going to have enough people working. Then you're not going to have enough people paying taxes. And now what? You can't print money forever because if you do that, you get into hyperinflation and you also have a move by Russia China, other countries around the world that are trying to remove the United States from world currency, which means some people may not be using the dollar here shortly. That is not good for American citizens. 
So again, I'm telling you, you should think about getting some property that you can get to outside of the United States. Because if your passport gets shut off, you want to make sure you can walk, run, boat, ferry to where your property is. How's that tonight for how to get good credit, get money, and we have strategies. And it's up to you now, ladies and gentlemen. What are you going to do about this? All right, let's get into something else because that is something that I just have to keep saying this week. Because we got to get into the money making aspect quickly because the opportunities for making money are generally shutting down. Everybody can say you want to be an entrepreneur. But the problem's going to come up. Airbnb, in fact, I, I should have talked given my Airbnb experiences talk tonight, but I did not so far. You're going to have to generate money out of thin air. Think about it. How are you going to be able to do that? Oh, cool. I get to uh, add this in the chat room. Hopefully it shows all on one line. Yep, it shows all in one. There's Airbnb experiences. You can become a host if you have property to rent or if you like going fishing every week, invite other people with you through their Airbnb experiences. If you know how to do something on your computer like Excel or make programs or make apps or something, maybe you want to show some people, charge them when they come into town. Why not? You're already doing it anyhow. Charge people. The Airbnb experiences. The link is in the chat. That's how you can get extra streams of revenue during the week. Right. All kind of options for you. Whatever you love. You go biking every Saturday at 5 a.m. in the morning. Tell other people on Airbnb experiences. Charge them twenty five dollars a person to join. you. Thirty, whatever. You know, you want to go out on Friday nights all the time. And you know the hot spot that's safe for tourist people? Why not have them come with you? Offer it on thing. Hey, this is a whatever kind of music it is. This is the place to be in the city. If you want to come, I'll, and then now you're talking to the, the owners, the group, uh, the bouncers, the owners of the place and saying, hey, man, $20 for me to get in no more. I'm bringing five to 10 people with me. What are we going to pay? I'm a tourist guide now. <laughs> I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, it opens up different doors. If that's the spot you hang out or spots you hang out, char charge people on Airbnb experiences. Guess who come into the city? They'll pay you for this. They don't have to look around. You already co-signed. And then people will leave reviews saying, yeah, it was a cool spot. I felt safe. The guy did a great job. And all it is is you go to a place, you hang out with people, you sit around, chit chat. They're from out of town, meet new people. And by the way, you never know who you meet, right? You never know. So all I'm saying is tonight we're talking about a lot of different things. But again, the bottom line to the story is we live in America. It's all about economics. They're not waiting for you. If you have no money to pay your bills, your bills get shut off. All right. So that's why I started SSN Lifestyle. And you guys know I'm going to talk about this all the time. Because I'm giving you a way to get into something. There's a free membership. It's referral affiliate where you all you still have a link. And when we have our products such as this, we have more than just this. All right. We have the body balance cream and we have the D3 and magnesium cream as well. As far as health products right now, it's cream, not pills, because pills, you only get 10 to 15 percent of whatever the milligrams say on there. So, again, I will give you that over the counter 500 milligrams of pain right so if you knew all you're getting is like 75 milligrams this is why the physicians have to give you 800 and that's why it's a prescription because they have to give you a higher dose because the, by the time your body absorbs it and goes through your stomach and all that you only generally is going to have a little over 100 100 120 milligrams in your body so they can't get keep pumping you up a thousand because your body's going to be toxic. Right. So that's why you have to have a prescription at 800 and you can only take so many. All right. I'm just telling you, that's why cream is much better. It goes into your blood system. All right. And uh, it doesn't go through uh, your stomach and acids and all that. All right. Here we go. This situation with China is escalating. Neither USA nor China wants to give up on their posture regarding Congress leader to Taiwan. 
Yeah. Whichever side stands down will look weak. Um, yeah. Man, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very bad. First of all, America, who has had Silicon Valley over here for 30, 40 years, please explain to me how there isn't chip manufacturers in the USA. Oh, I know. Because the cost to pay people is not going to be no freaking 20 cents a day. What a concept. And now here we are 40 years later, relying on chip manufacturers in Taiwan, 90% of chips. China knows this. If I'm your enemy, I would have already taken China. I mean, I would have already went to Taiwan and been like, yo, welcome back to the Chinese government. This is ours now. We're taking over. And then we'd say, America, what are you going to do? Nothing. I know. Now they would have 90% of the chip market and we already don't have cars, computers, total shutdown. And in the last three years, America still hasn't ramped up chips being made in America. I mean, I don't know what the hell's going on, but this ain't the 1950s or 40s or 30s America that I know with regard to military might and military strength, because in that era, there is no way in hell they would have allowed this nonsense to continue. They would have been like, hey, Taiwan, look, we can't lose these 90% chips to China. So straight up, we need bases over here. We need to have a, a international waters. We need to have our warships already all set all the time, just like Hawaii. You're already our buddies. We're going to protect you from these guys, just like our petrodollar that we protect uh, Saudi Arabia. Same, same thing. And for some strange reason, the most prolific American military money can buy is scared of every country. And this is going to be a little bit more about this tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys realize America last year spent $770 billion on the military industrial complex? You know what that equals? The next 10 countries combined on their military spending did not spend $770 billion combined. I can take two through 10 they spent less than $770 billion. How am I going to be afraid of a country, Russia, who spent $69 billion on their military? That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. They're in the top 10, by the way. But yet I'm going to be afraid of them. Explain this to me. I'm going to be afraid of China. Half their country is in poverty. I don't care if they have a billion people. 500 million of those people live in poverty. They ain't signing up to come fight any wars. They're not leaving the countryside. And so while we're playing around with China, they are getting bigger, badder, and bolder simply because we have manufacturing. We're sending billions, trillions of dollars of money over to China for manufacturing. And China's sitting there going, we didn't have to work for this. This is, a, this is just craziness. All right, enough on the economics and the government and the situations. Let's get back to the... This all affects us, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you don't understand. It's affecting us right now. There's no chips. Taiwan has a problem with China. America's not stepping in going, who? Hey, big bad boys we are. We got to step in here. I'm sorry, China. We, we, we got to protect our interest. You understand, Taiwan's not restricting you from chips. Taiwan's not restricting us from chips. Right now, we like that arrangement. If you take over Taiwan, I don't know if I can trust you to provide us chips. So how do you want to play this? But I'm playing it as I'm protecting my interest. 
Now, we can have a beef later if we try to restrict you guys from getting chips, but we have no interest in that because we actually don't want to go to war with you anyhow. So as long as the chips flow, we all good. So just stay over there where you're at. Don't mess around with Korea. Don't mess around with Japan. Everybody's cool. Don't mess around with Australia. We all good. Keep it moving. Everybody on the economic plane, you trying to take over Africa over there. We might have to deal with this later. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. So all this is hurting us, quite frankly. What you're not understanding by these moves or lack of moves, this has allowed situations to occur where now car manufacturers, computer companies, our major companies and corporations can't upgrade because they don't have chips. They now have to pivot and be like Apple, be like Tesla, make our own chips. But those chips that they make, they're not enough for everybody. They're only good enough for their company and their products. It's not worth a billion chips can't be made in a year in America. There's a machine luckily over in uh, Germany, but see, they don't make enough either. So America doesn't even have that machine here. It's crazy. But you're, they'd rather spend $770 billion on military industrial complex and do nothing than spend $100 billion and get us our chip manufacturing machines in our country. I mean, I, I don't get it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get it. I don't get it. Sultan of <laughs> Saul, Sultan of financial freedom has spoken. Thank you so much, Wilson Koo. And Wilson Koo, if you're still here, please tell me, man, do we have the uh, the offshore international? Uh, what's the situation with international loans on second homes, specifically in the DR? But let me know right now if you have something going on in, um, you know, internationally with maybe another country or something. Give me an idea. What type of interest rates? What type of loan to values are they looking for? If you know. All right. Only chips from China you may be able to trust is potato chips. <laughs> exactly, Victor Marrera. I mean, Wilson Koo, you got that right. Bingo. I cannot agree with you more. We need to project power. Our worldwide strength image is looking like a joke. We need to act like the leaders or other countries will eat our lunch. Exactly. In fact, other countries have been eating our lunch for the last 30, 40 years. Literally. Literally, it's if, if somebody woke up from 1950s and saw what was happening now, they'd, they'd freaking lose their mind. If any military leader woke up today, they'd be like, what is wrong with you? Are you serious? On all fronts, all continents, everything, they'd freak out. They'd be like, how are you letting China go down to South Africa where all the diamonds allegedly are? And they're actually making deals with those states and countries where they're acting, where they can put in their own police. They're building the roads for them. They're building the infrastructure. But guess who the police are? Chinese nationals. Sounds like an American strategy that has worked. They're doing the same playbook. Oh, man, this is crazy. I agree with you exactly. In fact, here's the here's the here's the real news, American citizens. The reason why we're going to have a serious problem here is the rest of the world understands what America is. They understand America is only going to pick on some freaked up Middle Eastern country that can't defend themselves. That's they know this. They know they're not going to mess with any of the top 10 nations. Even though the top 10 nations combined don't spend $770 billion in military, they still won't mess with them. How is it that North Korea, who's our enemy apparently, how is it that you allow them to shoot over our allies and just be like, oh yeah, that's another day? They're shooting rockets over Japan, over South Korea. Even though they're not shooting into their country, it's overhead. Let me explain something to you guys. If somebody had a rocket across five blocks away that can blow up your house, 
and they keep shooting the rockets and you see them go overhead, but they go beyond your house. Would you be like, oh, this is cool? Or would you be going down to their house being like, what's up? This crap right here, America should have already handled this along with Japan and South Korea. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is craziness. And all around the world, America, look, you guys don't get out. Victor Morrell, you know, you get out. You get out enough. They have been walking over the U.S. as if nothing is there. Exactly, Wilson Koo. Exactly. Diesel Mike, some Africans are actually standing up to the Chinese like the president of Rwanda. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later because they figured out they're like all that infrastructure, all that money they bought in. Then all of a sudden it's like, hold on, we don't like your government. Hold on. We start arresting your leaders. We start arresting people in power. Hold on. We need these positions. Just like a takeover, just like in America, no difference than any other country in the world. That's how the takeover begins. Move in like a Trojan horse, like you're going to help. We come in the name of the Lord. And then, of course, once you get a foothold, you're like, hold on. We don't like this. We're controlling this. No. Um, but that's exactly right. But the point of the matter is, Around the world, once you leave America, you understand you ain't okay. America ain't nothing. So all this bluster and all this bravado and all that crap, president, yeah, the the most uh, the most powerful man in the world. Everybody else around the world is laughing. They're like, hold on, wait a minute. These guys, paper tiger, Japan. They're paper tigers. Um, they go around the world and they're like, they call American dollar petrodollar. They understand what it is. It's worth nothing. They call it the petrodollar. You go around the world and it's all about, ha ha, you think you're a cowboy. All this bravado that you see in the movies and all that, that's what they look at Americans as clowns. And quite frankly, I'm going to ask you guys something seriously. Who in their right mind would let their five-year-old run things? Some of you may not understand what I'm saying. You do realize some of the rest of the world is 5,000, 2,000 years old, right? America's only been around 500 years, the North American continent as we know it, but it's been around before there because there was indigenous people here. But the European invasion and their story that they made up, that has only been around four or 500 years. So who in their right mind would let a five-year-old run things? Do you really consider Italy, France, Germany, African nations, the motherland, Chinese nations, you really think that they look up to America like, oh yeah, the 500 year old country, they're, they're big and bad, all right? Yeah, that's the little kid bully. These dudes been through wars for thousands of years. Come on, man, you guys get real. You need to get out more often, all right? People look at America like America is. They're the world currency. They're bullies around the world but they're not really. They're only bullies to countries that can't defend themselves. Countries that can defend themselves? They're like, they're like America's a joke and that's why they always talk smack. Cause they know they're not gonna do a damn thing. All right, come on, man. Come on guys. Same playbook, but better camouflage. Exactly, Wilson Koo. You know what I'm talking about? Um, uh, Canada is another country where they have an agreement with uh, China uh, and they've allowed their citizens to come in and buy up, make, uh, buy up corporations and do all kind of crazy. And Canada is not really that big population wise. So uh, a lot of their citizens do all kind of crazy stuff up in Canada. Because in, in uh, China, you can't do it. It'd be against the law. It's crazy what's happening around the world.
And America's sitting here acting like they're the big bad wolf when in fact, everybody's like, like sitting around laughing. Like if you're in South America, all you know is, okay, you come down here, the CIA comes down and try to change our leaders. Um, that's all they know is America. They're like CIA and the NSA and all these guys trying to do stuff. Over in Europe, African nations, same thing. This incognito warfare bullshit. That's all they know. They know America's underhanded, not to be trusted. Oh, by the way, just in case you're not a history buff, America has broken every treaty. Every treaty. Every one. Do you hear me? Every one. Whether it was with the indigenous people of America, whether it was with the slaves, whether it was with you, ladies and gentlemen, because they told you that they were going to uphold the Constitution, a separation of church and state. Well, seems like there's no longer a separation of church and state. And the founding fathers said there's no way in this planet that we're going to have church people running things in the Constitution. It says that. So, hey, if you're going to start spouting Constitution, ladies and gentlemen, please get it right. And now you should understand what you should be fighting against. Anybody spouting that they need their religious whatevers to rule the day. That is the Taliban. That is Al Qaeda. That is a cult. That is not democracy under a constitution or a republic under a constitution, especially when your constitution says separation of church and state. So whatever you believe from your religion, you're free to do whatever you want. We're not going to bother you. You're a free person. But don't come walking, knocking on my door, telling me what your book said, and I'm supposed to agree with it. I'm sorry. That's my freedom. You got yours, you and your group. You can believe whatever you want, but you ain't running the government based on what your group believes because they got another group over here that believes a different religion. So we're going to allow them to run it? Hell no. So again, ladies and gentlemen, you see where we're going now. We have no separation of church and state no more. We have all this constitutional stuff and you're getting destroyed by listening to this crap, instead of looking at freedoms for everybody, that's what you should be concentrating on. Anybody stopping your freedom means economically you're about to get screwed. Do you understand this, right? Minorities, people of color have understood this from the time they're born. So all I'm going to tell you is, you're everybody's getting screwed because we're under the same economic system in America and you got a passport. Your passport could be revoked. You might not be able to leave either, just like a communist country. All right. Two hours, 43 minutes in, we're talking government, we're talking religion, we're talking education, we're talking socialistic reasons why economy's going to fail. You can't operate as a socialist society and a capitalist society where the socialist system is the top 10% and the bottom 70% of the wealthiest, which is us combined, we're wealthy, singly we're not. The bottom 70% live in a capitalist system. The two can't exist. And the problem is the top 10%, they get to lobby and bribe our government. So therefore they get to make the rules. The only way you can change the rules is by voting. But again, I'm gonna tell you again, your votes matter and your votes, you need to pay attention. I'm getting into this voting thing, but you got to pay attention to what people say. So when people are trying to tell you, look, I'm going to get you into something else. 1920s, we had a president who said, uh, I want to be isolated from the rest of the world. So he did just what another president did. Um, we're going to raise tariffs against everybody because we don't want to 
import your products. So therefore, when we raise the tariffs, that means the products, when they get here, cost way too much. So we're going to manufacture them in America. Okay, brilliant. Some of you may say that's great. Guess what happened, though? The guys who were manufacturing in America had no competition. Also, the guys in America, the ecosystem slowed down because there's no money of exchange. The only money goes from the worker out. He goes to the store and he's buying USA products. That now means there's no influx because the rest of the world said, guess what? If that's how you feel, we ain't buying from you. So now the American uh, companies could not sell outside of the USA. Guess what happens then? Implosion occurs because the only money circulating is within your own borders. No country can survive without having external trade. You have to have somebody buying up your stuff more than your population. So that was one of the key factors on why we went into the Great Depression. So see, anybody spouting that kind of stuff, you already know what's going to happen. And unfortunately, we had somebody spouting that kind of stuff. And now you know what's going to happen is happening now. All right. So when somebody starts talking these economic things and you think it's, oh, yeah, rah, 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 it's great. America should be the we should be strong. We should have a battle with Canada over dairy. Why? Dairy prices are OK. No, we're going to have a we're going to have to renegotiate with them over the dairy. Why? Why? We have no problem. Oh, now, two years later, three years later, you see your dairy items have doubled. I was at the store today and this lady goes, I'm getting some butter. And she looks at me and she says, what the hell's going on? This butter's like four fifty, five dollars I used to buy just like two years ago. It was only like half this. I can only shake my head because she, are, she doesn't know who I am. I'm like, hey, I've been trying to tell people this for years. I've been trying to tell people that this is what the repercussion is going to be from this nonsense. I said, yeah, and guess what? It's going to go up even more. She's like shaking her head like, I can't believe this. It's double. This is what I brand I used to buy all the time. And it's double. I'm just in shock. And she goes, two weeks ago, it was a dollar less. I said, I know. But see, this is what happens when you have some yahoos running around talking about, oh, we feel like we've been abused. Meanwhile, your U.S. citizens have not been abused. They're paying the cheapest amount for all products than the rest of the world. So you can't sign up for that kind of crap, ladies and gentlemen. You're defeating your whole purpose, and that's why we're here today. You don't have enough people who understand how economics and ecosystems work. So when you start having a beef with the dairy industry and you and, and Canada is our is our partners, in essence, why are we having a beef with our allies about something that over one percent, two percent when that's minimal? So you want to escalate this to where you're going to cut off the supplies or reduce the supplies, which now means things are going to cost more. That's what you'd rather do just to look like you're big, bad and tough. But unfortunately, we're going to be in a world of hurt, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why we're here in the stop struggling now. This is why I started and we're almost three minutes in. And I went off the rails. But tonight it's Friday night. Just got paid. Now it's time to party. We talking about all this. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. So they have put the brakes on the Chinese investments in strategic assets. About damn time, Wilson Koo. Jesus Christ. I didn't know what Canada was doing up there for the last 20 years. I'm just like, holy smokes. Are they smoking crack? I know what they're doing. I mean, it's what they, the same playbook. They have money to invest. So they're going to let them invest. They're employing people for the time being. So therefore, but strategically, not a good thing in the long run. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I'm going to do. I went off the rails tonight. I know a lot of people don't like talking about this. So we're going to get back into a few things before we end this live stream. I'm going to go off and I need some water after all this because I was talking about Rob A and Mr. Worldwide. 
So let me show you something else. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what's coming. It's SSN lifestyle type of stuff. what you guys got to understand the door is closing because if let's just put it this way what happens if travel on an airplane just to go across america is 550 dollars instead of the 200s or the 250s or the 300 dollars it's 550. that changes things dramatically two people 1100 dollars and they're charging for bags still for most airlines except for what southwest or if you're in first class or if you have enough points or award miles I mean, this is what you could be looking at here. You're not going to be able to get around, so you have to set yourself up for being able to get around. Just like right now, SSN Lifestyle Founders Club members, they can go to Aruba if they can get there. $200, August 27th for a week in a studio at a beachfront location. That's all they would pay. Everybody else, sorry, you're not a Founders Club member. $12.95. But if you're a member of SSN Lifestyle, a paying member, then, of course, you get a small discount, but it's not going to be anywhere near Founders Club price. And by the way, that's another benefit that Founders Club members are going to have. You guys are going to be able to get discounted pricing, and that's why the value of this $2,799 one-time payment and then $49.99 a month is worth it. And that gives you the ability to be into the business opportunities. It gives you the ability to earn passive income, residual income by signing up other people, the ability to sell products. You don't have to. If you want to earn extra money, you can, but there's so much going on. All memberships have the ability to sell products and earn commission and sign up other members. That's residual income that could be coming in every month. The win the tickets to Daytona, it's not the Daytona 500. It's the Coke Zero Sugar 400 win the tickets whoever has the most sales gets two two-day tickets to wawa 250 on august 26 and the coke zero sugar 400 on august 27th and fun zone two fun zone tickets as well so you're going to be in that every day i'll be down there hanging out myself there's some other surprises that's going to show up over the next 30 days so just get over there, get your links, sell products, sell services, there are vacation rentals, there's health products, and there's other things over there as well that's going to help you get commissions, make income. And that's the bottom line of the story, whether you get in the memberships or not, but memberships has its privileges. Even if you have the pro membership, which is the first level membership, you have membership benefits, pro elite and premier those are membership levels. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost three hours in. I had a little bit of fun tonight. We talked about government. We talked about how it affects you when people are sitting out here blindly just agreeing with moves that a government makes that two or three years later, we're going to be uh, receiving the repercussions from that as the individuals, as the OCs out here, ordinary citizens. We're the ones that's going to feel it at the gas pumps. We're the ones that's going to feel it at the grocery stores. We're the ones that when you need to go get something to repair your house and the supplies or the materials cost three times as much. All of that takes years to happen. So the ramification is for something that happened two to four years ago. It didn't just happen because of right now. It happened two to four years ago. There was somebody that made decisions that now happen to uh, make our economy a different way. You just can't change things today and expect our economy to change in a week. It takes a couple years. It's a lag. It takes 18 months 
to three years from some financial decisions that you made. So something that happened in 2016 or 17 will affect something in 2019 or 2020. Something that happened under COVID in 2020, now it's going to be 2022, 2023 that you're going to have the effects from what happened then. That's how this works, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like we're about to close this out. And so uh, we're down to only a few people. We're three hours in, but I want to thank everybody for being here. It doesn't matter. The reason why I had to talk about this is because, you know, the channel's being banned anyhow. So I can talk about anything I want. It's not like we're out here to thousands of people and all that. They don't ship us out because of my uh, views probably, but whatever. They have been walking over the U.S. as nothing is there exactly. Some Africans are actually standing up. We went through that. Same playbook, better camouflage, exactly. So they have put the brakes on the Chinese investments. Exactly all good. Needs to be said, 100. Thank you so much. That's exactly right. Now, let's get back to the business at hand. Credit, money, strategies. It's up to you now. You can't be shy, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to get heavy out here. And all I'm saying is if you get laid off, there's certain things. A lot of people aren't doing well health-wise because they're under stress almost every week, living paycheck to paycheck every year. So you're not gonna be doing good. What happens if you lose your job and you have no health care and no money coming in? So that's why you need to set up your streams of revenue right now. We have something coming out, so please pay attention. Um, the, um, well, I can't even remember the name of it. The, uh, my Easy Tron Bot, M-E-T-B, Please stay tuned um, and please download the link. Let me see if I have my link here, the invite link. Get this because Melanie Bonita, please hit the all bell notification if you haven't already. Make sure you have it. Only 2,200 people out of 14,000 receive any information when we upload a video. So we need more people to make sure you have that bell notification signed up on. And we have Melanie Bonita that's going to do a, a live stream where she's going to actually show us how to sign up and set everything up because you can earn, I believe it was 1.5% per day for five days during the week, Monday through Friday, you earn 1.5% and then you get your interest payout. The money has to be locked for 134 days. It's M E T B. Allegedly now it has been out for 550 days working. It works off of telegram, which is very, very unique. And so that is one of the things you can probably not figure out how to get through the system. But when you set up a username, um, a legal name, when the first comes out, you'll click on something. It'll say legal name. That is actually a username. All right. So whatever you want your username to be, that's what you put in as a legal name. And then the next step, something else will pop up and it'll be like your phone number. Then it may be like your email address. And then you'll see some, uh, once you're finished, something will pop up at the bottom that'll say like my team deposit and things like that. Cause you'll see BTC, Litecoin, Dogcoin and uh, USDT. And I'm missing one, TRX. Those are the coins that you can use to deposit. All right, and you can deposit as small as $10. I'm not saying you can set it up, but please use my link in the chat just so you are associated with SSN Nation. That would be kindly appreciated. And everybody that's on the way out, please smash the like button. And if you like what we talked about tonight, I normally don't get into all the strategic and economics, but it affects us here. It's a global economy. So anything that happens in China, that happens in Europe, that happens in America, that happens in Canada, happens in anywhere in the world, it affects us and our economy. And generally, the rich get to stay rich, but people losing their jobs. If we go down to 100 million people employed, that's going to be a very, very bad problem. All right. So, again, if you ever have any questions or anything, you can always hit me up at support at stopstrugglingnow.com or eric at stopstrugglingnow.com. Either way, that works. And if you ever want to talk about any subject matter, you can always email me or put it in the chat room. And please join us on Monday for the Money Making Monday live stream at 8 50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And once again, and because we had Rob A in the house, I'm going to do one more for you, Rob A. All right. One more, Mr. Worldwide. And since you're from Miami, 
but this isn't Miami. Here we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. And if there's anything else you want to discuss tonight at midnight, let me know. But make sure you smash the like button before you leave. Shout out to my man, Eric Franklin, and uh, he's an artist. He makes some awesome, intriguing art. Art is an asset, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And that's Eric Franklin. His father was an artist, a painter and a famous painter as well. Eric Franklin is a famous painter and artist himself. Um, it's pretty awesome. So you can look up some of his uh, art. It's a. Uh, erotic he does erotic he's not just like his dad's painting he does erotic stuff that you've never seen anywhere else probably and he does some other mild type paints as well but most of the time it's erotic but uh nonetheless it's not more like um i guess some people might consider it x but it's not really because it's it's different i can't even explain it but uh, i used to have his website i don't know if it's still ericfranklin.com or I am Eric Franklin, but either way, check him out. He was one of the guests on the show. We were in the Philippines at the same resort area on the same little ventures. He was with us at the, the salmon run or sardine run. He was hanging out a little bit. So uh, it was pretty cool to meet him and talk with him. So uh, all I'm saying is thank you so much, everybody, for being here. So we're going to wrap it up three hours in. But please, down below, there's several links in the description that can help you, whether it's for free Bitcoin mining, that's there. Free stocks you want, that's there. Credit for business and personal, you wanna improve your credit, no credit check, no hard inquiries, that's down below. Business as well, as long as you have an EIN number, you can either get your net 30 or you can set up your business a different way by using uh, Credit Strong because they'll give you a 10,000, but basically you're paying into build up your 10,000 and they release it once you get there or 5,000. But either way, it's reporting to your business profile. If you get Opus Virtual Office, they also report to your business profile to help your business credit. Crown's office supplies for business down below. Also, I added in Airbnb experiences in the chat room earlier today. So again it looks like i have the bot that showed up um and let me see if i'll do the airbnb experiences again if you do something you should uh, consider sharing it on airbnb experiences to monetize yourself if you go bike riding if you walk at a certain time every day if you go fishing uh every week or every day if you go boating and you just hanging out. If you go play basketball, it doesn't matter. You play golf. It doesn't matter. Whatever you do every day, you go work out. You can put it on Airbnb experiences and maybe you do something at home, woodworking. Show people how to make wood or while you're doing your woodworking, people will come over and then you're getting paid. All that is on the table. Monetize yourself now. This is almost going to be like 1690, 1810, where you had to fend for yourself potentially. Not that many people is going to have well-paying jobs that's going to be able to support a family with child care issues, a family with health care issues, uh, all that. Nobody's, their employers aren't going to be uh, paying people $50 an hour. All right. So let's just get things in perspective. You guys got to understand what's going on around here. 30 times 20. All right, 30 times 40. 1,200, 
50 times 40, 2,000 a week, 8,000 a month, 7,000 after tax. That means you take away three times, that's 23, 2,400. You can't buy a house for 500K right now, ladies and gentlemen. You can't buy a house for 400K. All right? That's $84,000 a year. You can't buy a house. The median average price, you have to make over 30 an hour. Your household has to make over 30 an hour in order to buy a $400,000 house. That's a shame. That's a shame. Your household has to make about what 60 million, 60 and uh, both of you would have to on average make 30 an hour. So you need two people in the household to make on average $60 an hour. Just think about that. So therefore you have to do things now that's going to be able to allow you to make extra streams of revenue. All right. Whether you're going to be an affiliate, whether you're going to go out and do arbitrage where you're going to scan what's on sale at Walmart or Target or, or dollar store. And then you see it's on Amazon and, and you can get 20 times your money. You can buy 10 of these here for five or 10 bucks and you see it online selling for 60, 70 bucks. That's a good day. Do arbitrage if you have to. But whatever it takes, you're going to have to position yourself to learn and find out some more things. As far as real estate, you guys know that's my number one thing when the economy comes crashing down. You need to position yourself to buy real estate. This is going to be the greatest transfer of wealth that's going to happen. Because there's only going to be certain people that are going to be able to afford real estate. Other people are going to have to rent because they already have increased the rental rates. So you want to be the rent tour, not the rentee. So in other words, you want to own the property and rent it out versus being the renter of the property, right? So that is going to be on the list, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what we're going to talk about on Monday because Monday is Money Making Monday live stream. I'm going to be dropping a video tomorrow as well. So make sure you smash the like buttons. Make sure you hit the all, subscribe to the channel, click the all notification bell. That would be greatly appreciated. Only 2,200 people receive notifications. All right. I'm just letting you know out of 14,000 only that many people. That's it. That's all YouTube allows. All right. For me, I don't know about other people, but I doubt if other people get less than this 15% is sent out. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going to wrap this up. If anybody has anything else to say or discuss or want to talk about anything on our next live stream, please let me know in the next three minutes. Because other than that, I'm going to give you a 30 second warning. So please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates and again it's hard out here so therefore we have to act like it's hard out here we have to make strategies like it's hard out here we're gonna for one thing have to make more money you don't get to stay level all right everything's gonna cost more whether they get inflation in order which is not possible i don't see how whether the, uh, the, the bottom line is goods and services, less goods and services are going to be bought, which means the companies just by nature are going to have to raise their prices just off of that. If you don't have enough buyers, then how do you make the same amount of money? You have to increase the price. So that's what's going to happen. Inflation is going to increase the price and lack of enough people to buy is going to increase the price. All right. So here we are. Jonathan is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation late night, midnight edition to the Friday night live stream. And he says, yo, SSN, yo, what's up with you, man? Glad to see you here. Even though it is midnight, I'm about to wrap it up. Another three hour journey. I went off on the rails tonight, man. I was talking about government situations and how it affects us. And uh, being ordinary citizens who are in the bottom tier, you're not in the top 10 percent, it's going to affect you even more, which means you have to even start paddling right now to figure out how you're going to get extra streams of revenue. And I just don't mean a little bit like one hundred dollars. I mean, it's going to have to be hundreds of dollars extra per month or per week, whatever you can turn it out to. But you're going to need a few hundred dollars more per month. And I'm saying do it legally. 
because you don't want to get into the uh, the other industrial complex. America has the most people incarcerated per capita. All right. And in most people incarcerated, period. So you don't want to fall into this category being in that legal system because there's no way out at that point because actually they get free labor. OK, 20, 30 cents a day, whatever. Um, uh, it's almost like China. They get free labor and they make money for every cell person they have. So they would gladly lock up another two, three million people because that way they have people off the street, not homeless, and they receive compensation for those people behind bars. So they have every incentive to make sure people get behind bars. So that's why you want to make sure you stay above board. And especially when the economy goes down, because you don't want any reason to have them hem you up because they can hem you up. In fact, you guys got to understand the laws in America. You're doing everything right. But in America, there is a law against what I mean by against. You're doing everything right. But in America, there's a law that it's right, but it's illegal. Most people don't get arrested until they want to get you arrested. So that's why you never think about, hey, they just arresting people. There's a law in the books for damn near everything. Everything. All right. So just keep that in mind. So protect everything you have. And also think about where you're keeping your money. Banks could be going out of business. They have been. They just been keeping it quiet. I'm in a situation myself. My brokerage account, a bank went out of business. So I said, okay, got notification that another bank has taken over the accounts, except the bank that went out of business, they said they are withholding all brokerage accounts. Money's being held hemmed up. We don't know what's going to happen. See my point? This is what's going to happen in America slowly, but surely it's already happening to people, but it's not happening to 20 million people. It's only happening to 100,000 people here, 10,000 people there, 5,000 people there. And so therefore, there's not a big uproar. But one day you could roll out to the ATM or go to the pay for something and be like nothing's working. So don't be surprised. All I'm saying, set yourself up, whether it's crypto Again, get your free Bitcoin. The description down below has a way you can do free Bitcoin mining using your computer, your software, your phone. They use your software. You don't need mining equipment. You can hook up other people, invite other people and receive a pennies or a partial penny every day on that. You get a partial penny yourself every day. It all adds up, but it's free, right? It could be running right now while you're sleeping, while you're watching this. And if you can add your devices as many computers and cell phones and tablets or laptops you have, you can all be on there running away while you're sleeping and earning a fractions of a penny and a fractions of a penny add up and use your link and share with family, friends and everything, just like my link is being shared. All right. So you're going to have to figure out how you're going to where you're going to keep your money to be safe, whether it's in a safe, but that loses value. But then again, at least it's in your hands whether it's in a crypto, whether it's in a bank, whether it's in a brokerage account. Because when things hit the fan, I'll just put it to you this way. Who out here can go to their bank and withdraw $25,000, $30,000, and their banks doesn't say, um, hold on now, what do you want the money for? And uh, we, you know, we don't have that money here. You got to come back. All right. So this is what's already been happening for years at the banks. All right. So just think about it. They don't have money. So if 20 people came in and each of them said, hey, I, I, hey, man, I hear the economy's bad. I want my 50 G's. I want my 100 G's. I want my 10 G's. They don't have the money. They'll shut down. It'll be a bank run. So just think about where you want to keep your money. Be safe because at the bot, the, the thing that's happening now we don't know what's happening. These The government's lying to us. So you have to prepare. And so if the government isn't lying to us and everything turns around, you're protected, you're safe, you're fine. But why not start thinking about, hey, maybe you not need to diversify out of the system 
to where they don't have full control. All right. Just think about that, meaning gold and silver has to be on the table at this point. And guess what? They have been reduced because of all the manipulation for the last 10, 12 years. It's amazing that you can buy gold around 1700. You can buy silver under 1900 potentially. I mean, $19. That in itself is a travesty. But all I'm trying to say is get a little bit of gold and silver. Yes, it doesn't earn anything. But you should have that because guess what? That's money. Silver is actually money in America or USA. That should be money. That's what's in the Constitution. But they've changed it to the debt note. But all I'm trying to say is pay attention. You need a little bit of gold and silver and precious metals, even if it's just uh, $200, even if it's 50 bucks. Just get something and get it, get it from a reputable. Keep the receipt because when things hit the fan, there's going to be people coming out of the woodworks with fake gold and silver, and you're not going to be able to tell. So that's what's going to happen as well. But you want to make sure you keep all your records and you have it so it's legitimate. So if you ever need to trade or sell it, then you know you'll more than likely be good to be able to get that dollar value that you need to get if things hit the fan. All right. So that's why you should have ounces or a quarter ounce or a tenth of an ounce if it's gold if you can't afford one ounce fine but you should be getting a little something of these precious metals copper even all right and so therefore when the economy hits the fan then those usually rise they've been manipulated but right now is a good time to buy all right okay well ladies and gentlemen three hours 16 minutes one of the longest ones and i went on a little rant tonight talking about government entities talking about world and global currencies and markets and what we can do to combat it because if you don't know what's going to happen or have an idea of what could happen then you're going to be making moves a different way you're going to be sitting here going la di da i'm buying real estate like for instance why would you buy real estate right now prices have been dropping all over the country due to the increased uh, interest rates hikes you should just be sitting back relaxing being like let's see how far this can go down but there's no way you should be getting a loan for a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar house which is the average price in america and next thing you know next month it that house is going to be worth 400 or 375. you don't want to be in that position ladies and gentlemen because you're really not going to feel well if it's worth three hundred thousand and you're paying four hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of a house note you're not going to be happy about that at all and so that'll exasperate people walking away from their homes and um, the rest will be history just like 2008 and 9. so if anybody has any comments anything else they want to say we're going to wrap this up i played enough of the ssn lifestyle videos tonight let me play one more video and it's not really is it ssn oh in case you just got here if you want to go to Aruba, there's something that's uh, at SSN Lifestyle. The um, In Aruba, there's a place called La Cabana Beach Resort and Casino. The resort itself is on the beach. It's on Eagle Beach in Aruba. $1,295 for August 27th through September 3rd at SSN Lifestyle. The link is down below in the description. It would cost roughly two thousand dollars for that same week if it was available which now it's not available which means the price value is worth more but nonetheless twelve hundred and ninety five dollars is that crazy studio full kitchen sofa sleeper can sleep up to four um the place has restaurants delis a pool with slides minor slides they're not that high but still so you can slide and um that slides into the pool you have a little like cinnabon is there you have sabaro is there then you have restaurants there in case you don't know sabaro's the uh um, pizza place that's there on site they have shops on site they have a barber shop they have a salon beauty salon on site and spa they have uh fitness a gym on site if you are a Founders Club member and you're watching this video right now, 
you can stay in Aruba. That week could be yours for $200. Is that crazy? No other membership can get that week for $200. That's part of being in the VIP Founders Club membership. That's why you pay that higher fee than everybody else. You get special promotions. But this is commissionable, meaning if you find somebody anywhere in the world that wants to stay there and you are a, even a free affiliate, you receive commission if somebody books that through your link. So I'm giving you ways that you can make extra revenue, extra streams of income. And I'm very proud. I'm building it. It's building out. So please check out SSN Lifestyle down below, ladies and gentlemen. There's links for the 5100 Passive Income Opportunity Fund. You can get in with your debit or credit card and you're going to earn 5% to 0% every weekly payout that's what it is and there's more you're going to be able to invest in companies possibly and to get shares of companies before they get ready to start pushing towards an ipo one year two years later or you're going to be able to invest in companies that are going to do like rental um, rental business for condos and villas and excursions or you can invest in a company like fingernails to go receive these passive income that's part of the membership as well not everybody can get in so once again i'm gonna not end this quite yet because i want to show you something that's in the punakana area that some of you may have seen before this is what's going on at at hard rock casinos they have this special table that costs 150 dollars per person up to 12 people can be in it but here's a dining experience at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel at Riviera Mayan and in Punakana, they have it. So check this out. See, this is what you want to do, and it's going to be very, very difficult for a lot of people to get into places like this. Even though it's 150 a person right now, it's probably going to be 200 a person. Who knows? Because the food that they're going to be serving is going to go up in price. But all I'm saying is experiences are going to matter in your life, and you want to be able to make enough money. So again, please join us here on Monday. Watch for some more videos that I'm going to be dropping over the next few days. It's going to be very, very crazy around here. But nonetheless, thank you again. We're going to wrap this up. All right. So all you guys know, if you've been here before, you know the ending. So keep your head up. Keep moving. And I'm out.